Oh, come on. <laughs> Hold on. All right, since my red one ran out, now I have to do this. <laughs> oh, what the, the, the universe does not want me to cross out your name, Bianca, but it's still happening. And now we're done with that. I'm so happy this is a momentous day. Let's go and investigate who killed them and give them props, okay? So let's dive on in. He's dead. Yes, let's in. Mr. Gay, hey! <laughs> I shouldn't be like that, but okay. All right. Okay, Biakia? Why is Biakia no? Oh, that was a that was a blood curdling scream. I just stood there horrified as showers of screams rang out behind me as I gazed quick quietly at the body of my former friend, former enemy. What you mean? Why? What is this? Everybody's scared. This is impossible. Don't mess with me. This must be some kind of mistake. This can't be real blood. It's got to be something like jam or sauce. Because if not, this... Oh, oh, okay, she's foaming at the mouth. Good gracious, things quickly took a turn for the worse. My, my now, this is interesting. On this tropical paradise known as Jabberwock Island, the very first murder has finally taken place. Murder? Hold on, then does this mean... Of course. Biakia was killed by one of you and we gotta congratulate them. If you look at the body, you can tell instantly he was obviously murdered. Look, he has such a horrible expression on his face, don't you think? A face filled with regret that his life was ended by force, all thanks to someone else's selfish desires. To have a dying face such as this. If this isn't murder, then what the heck could it be? Biakia was most likely sacrificed by someone who really wanted to leave this island. Lies, it's all lies, you're lying that he was murdered. Murdered? The moment I screamed that word, a thick, muddy feeling of despair swelled within my body, which means that that I've accepted the fact that Biakia was murdered. What is this? Is that really Biakia? Why did this happen? Why Biakia? He's a bitch. That's why. I see, I see. It appears Fuyuhiko is the only one who isn't here. So, in the spirit of keeping everyone on the same page, how about we do this in the usual way? With an announcement? Okay. A body discovery announcement. We got it. A body has been discovered. Now then, mm. after a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin. Great. All right. Now we got to investigate, y'all. Class trial. I've already explained this to you, all right? If one of you gets murdered, the rest of you have to debate who you think is the black end. You're telling us to figure out who the killer is? That's right. From this point on, you guys must investigate and uncover the black end culprit. It can't be. Someone actually killed? There's no way. If you make an outburst like that, you'll end up being a suspect. Yes. I won't believe it. One of us killed Biakia. There's no way something as hopeless as that would ever happen. No, no, if you're no. actually thinking that way, it means you guys are already being conned by the killer. Come on, come on. Let's hurry up and begin. An impassioned, life-risking battle between you guys and the Blacken. And it's already started. It started the moment one of you plotted to kill someone. Hey, what are you saying? Everyone, please, you cannot, you should not believe what Monokuma says. No matter how much you interfere, there is only ever one truth. On my grandfather's name. You have a grandpa? On my grandfather's grave. Grave? Your grandpa's dead? What happened to him? On my grandfather's plane. All right, we got it. We got it. I don't even know where to begin at this rate. Oh, and then he's punching her. You ain't my comedy partner anymore. Oh my God. Stop beating up Usami. Said, did you see that? This stunning display of power. Defy your big brother and I will show you no mercy. I will harden my heart and teach you a lesson you won't soon forget. If only I had my magic, oh look at the blood. <laughs> if only I had my magic stick, I'd be able to fight back against Monokuma. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Let's just leave that whiny rabbit loser alone and get on with the investigation. Now then, in the spirit of lovey, do lovey doubt and dovey deception, put your heart and soul into investigating. I wish you the best of luck. Here we go, I've been waiting. I've been waiting for this moment to happen, so I am happy to investigate. And with that, Monokuma vanished, leaving those of us who were grief-stricken alone with our despair. What does this mean? I don't understand this at all. A search for Byakuya's killer. Why did it turn out like this? What's going on? Give me a break. Why do I have to be involved in this horrible situation? Um, you can't doubt each other because you're all friends. But Mr. Ham Hands really did get killed, right? And if we don't find out who the killer is, we're all gonna get killed, right? That being said, I cannot abide by this. Now that I have finally made friends, there's no way I can doubt them. 
Seriously, did you even listen to what I said? It doesn't matter if you can abide by this or not. We gotta do this to survive, right? Then we have no choice but to do it. No, friends doubting friends is a major no-no. <laughs> oh, shut up. Just go away already. You useless piece of trash. Oh, it's not the buddy's fault. Let's not cuss her out. She wanted us to live. <laughs> oh, threats are scary. Do we really have to do it? No, I don't want to do something like that. I don't want to do it either. It sounds so scary. However, it is just as Hiyoko said. If we're going to get killed for not doing it, we must do it. But still, I can't believe one of us killed Byakia. There's no way I can believe it. There's no way. So for that reason, I'll do it. I'll investigate Byakia's death. I will do my best to prove there's no killer among us. There's no need to deceive or doubt each other. What we need to fight is not ourselves, but which that which is trying to crush us, this despair. This hopeless reality, that's the real enemy we need to fight. If I'm going to survive this, then I have to fight it. Before you start, can I say something? Well, In closed circle detective games, the player usually has to decide on who's going to guard the crime scene. Oh, like the bodyguard, so we gotta choose those. What should we do? Oh yeah, it would be bad if the killer destroyed the evidence and got away with it. Destroyed the evidence? Look over there, that big bulky brawny guy is perfect for the guard job. Oh. <laughs> I mean, that's what they did to Sakura, so. What the heck happened? Man. That guy has a sensitive heart despite his looks. Is that what that means? Um, I could be the one who watches the crime scene. I don't have enough confidence to investigate the body and it's not like I have the brains either. I'll just stay by Byakuya's side. That's the least I can do. That's what guard duty is, right? Mihiru, um, do you wanna do it? I'll do my best. I'll do my best to not get in your way. I have medical training, so if it's not too much trouble, I can perform an autopsy, please. So you're going to stay as well, is that okay? And what specifically should we be doing now? I have no idea. It's pretty obvious we're all just amateurs. Going through each grain of sand on a beach just to find a clue would be a waste of time. The only ones who could do that are the police. There's no way amateurs like us will be able to do that. So let's first rely on our intuition. We'll start from there and prove that none of us could have killed Byakia. But to perform an autopsy on your friend, how cruel. But I have no choice, right? There's no way I could do something like the climb, right? I won't believe it, Byakia got killed. I don't believe that at all. This man does not want to believe anything that's happening, okay? Since the beginning, he's like, I don't want to believe it. I'm not gonna believe it, so I'm not going to. <laughs> Fine, I'm in. If we are to survive this, this is our only path. Something like this is the only thing we can do in order to stay alive. Finding out who the killer is is our only hope for survival. Something like this is hope? Even so, I still gotta do it. All right, let's investigate, let's go. You thought it was time for an investigation, but the Monokuma file, hand it over. Just as I thought, you amateurs need this, right? What the hell is a Monokuma file? Explaining the rules all the time really breaks my world. <laughs> Well, it's not like I have bones in the first place. Like, don't even make me say such lame jokes. Okay, let's see. The Monokuma file contains precise and detailed information regarding the dead body. I brought it to you so you guys can smoothly proceed with the investigation. I'm such a nice guy. I'm so nice, I want to be known as the Mother Teresa of the mascot world. Nice, you say? You're just a selfish meanie. My, my, Monomi, the meaningless mascot. You're still here. Don't push me in the meaningless mascot genre. Come on, let's go. Your turn is already up. Hurry up and get the hell out of here with me. Ouchie, don't pull my ears. They're gonna come off. <laughs> They're finally gone. The Monokuma file, huh? Anyway, I guess I should look over it just in case. I said that wrong, but whatever. <laughs> Dead! All right. Cause of death. The victim's body was discovered in the dining hall of the old building near the hotel Mi Mirai. I was about to say that completely wrong. Excuse me, y'all. The estimated time of death is 11.30 p.m. The victim was repeatedly stabbed over 10 times between the throat and abdominal region, resulting in death. Aside from that, the body has no other external injuries and no chemicals such as poison were detected. Okay. Huh. Damn it, you promised there wouldn't even be one victim. Why'd you end up being one? And now I'll never know what you were going to say to me. I cannot talk to others about my past. I suspect that my skeptical nature is partly to blame. Distrusting others and other being distrusted in return for a long time, my life has been a living hell. It was inevitable that I would end up this way. In the end, what did he even mean? Could it be? Even so, there's a traitor. Isn't that gosh darn awful? Oh, so he thinks he might've been a traitor. Huh, a traitor? No way, just because he said lots of serious things doesn't mean he was a traitor. What am I thinking? All right, oh, the truth bullet, hey, okay. There we go. Anyway, we need to carefully examine everything. That's right, I need to do it. If we're gonna survive this, we need to do it. I have to prepare myself for the worst. All right, let's look around the room, y'all. Okay, let's look over here, under that. 
such a huge table. There's nothing much out of the ordinary. So, okay, nothing with the tablecloth. Let's look at the food. There are a lot of fancy looking party dishes in the end, nobody really ate that much. I can imagine these are related to the incident. Okay, so nothing with the food. I'm gonna look at everything around it before I start talking to people. Why are the windows covered with iron plates? Does it have something to do with the renovation product, project? No worrying about that is a waste of time. It doesn't have anything to do with Yaki's death anyway. Okay, so that has nothing to do with it. I'm looking at a lot of useless shit right now. A remote controlled air conditioner. Air conditioner, could it be? Hey, all of you, why can't you act a little more grown up? Oh. What was that sound just now? Oh, huh. This air conditioner is probably the only machine inside this room and the air conditioner's remote control. The timer is set to 11.30 PM. I'm pretty sure Vyaki's time of death was around the same time. If so, that means that mechanical sound before the blackout or probably came from this air conditioner. My flashes of inspiration aren't as bad as I thought. Hmm. The AC timer has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. So, it was set to 86 degrees Fahrenheit at 11.30 p.m. Hmm. Okay. Dang, it's hot in here. How about y'all turn it down? Jesus Lord, I just realized how hot it actually was. Okay, so let's look over here. Under this very table, Biakia was first. I should investigate the top of the table. Though, the only thing on top of this table that really catches my eye is the zest lamp. It looks like an antique lamp and it seems rather heavy. The power cord was connected to the outlet, so it would have been useless during the blackout. Other than that, there's nothing else on the table that really stands out to me, so now's not the time for me to flinch. I gotta do it. I let out a shout as if to encourage myself and quickly look beneath the table. Immediately, I noticed an unexplainable smell, like rusted iron hanging in the air. And during the stinging pain in the back of my eyes, I slowly shifted my gaze toward Byakuya's body. Byakuya Tagami, the uh, ultimate affluent progeny. He was the kind of guy who said a lot of hurtful things, but he tried his best to lead everyone. Why did he have to end up like this? The only thing I could do right now, for Byakuya's sake, is to uncover the truth behind his death. So, let's look at Mr. Night Goggles. What is this? It looks like binoculars, but why is there a pair of binoculars under the table? Oh, he's never seen night vision before. Okay, got it. Those aren't binoculars. Then what are they? Those are probably night vision goggles. Night vision goggles? I've seen them at the supermarket on this island. They also stock self-defense kits too. If that's the case, did the killer use this night vision goggles to kill Byakuya during the blackout? Well, whoever had this obviously had a target in mind. This was premeditated, okay? They said there's gonna be a party tonight. I'm gonna shut off the lights and I'm gonna get this from the supermarket so that I can kill them. But the thing is, I remember seeing Mr. Mechanic Dude in the supermarket. I remember seeing the musician girl at the supermarket. And I remember seeing, I think, Mikan at the supermarket. So those three are the ones that are suspicious to me right now. Cause those were the ones that I saw in there. Something stuck to the back of the table. Is this duct tape? There seems to be paint applied to this non-sticky side of the duct tape. Paint. Okay. In the dim light beneath the table, it seems to glow dully. Could this be glowing paint? So they had glowing paint? A bloody knife. This is the weapon that killed Byakuya. Hold on, how did the hell how did the killer bring this knife to the dining hall in the first place? Byakuya thoroughly patted down everyone and thoroughly inspected every corner of this old building. And all the confiscated dangerous items were supposed to be placed in the Duralumen Dura case. I keep saying this freaking name wrong. It's possible they stole this knife from the case or they hid it somewhere to hard, find, hard to find. Also, there's one more thing about the knife that's strange. There's some kind of paint that's been applied to the hilt. In the dim light beneath the table, it seems to glow dully. Could this be glowing paint? So, it looks like the knife was taped underneath. Was it underneath? Was it taped underneath the table? That's what I'm trying to figure out, huh? Okay, so let's look at this. Let's look at his hands. The body is collapsed face down under the table as if he was in the middle of attempting something. It looked like he was, according to the model Kuma file, he was repeatedly stabbed between the throat and abdominal region. Repeatedly stabbed, one of us would really do something so horrible? Hmm. Okay, so he was repeatedly stabbed, because nobody liked him. The blood from his body, that's a lot of blood. There's blood splattered everywhere. Even the inner side of the tablecloth is covered in blood. The blood might have been splattered all over the place when he got stabbed, but there don't seem to be any drag marks leading from the blood pool. Huh, blood stain under the table. 
I'm sure I've pretty much investigated what's under the table, despite the fact that it's just me. I think I'm working pretty hard. Even if it's just a little, I'm sure we're getting close to the truth behind Yaki's death. So, let's talk to you, girl. I must, I must investigate my classmate's body. Yes, I'm the one who has medical knowledge. That's why I need to do it, to do it somehow. Before you start, why don't you calm down a bit? You're right, I need to calm down first. I'm, I'm careless enough as it is. That's pretty obvious how, from how you fell earlier, because you was busting it open, girl. Oh my God. I hope that doesn't happen this episode. I feel, I feel like it's gonna happen in every other episode. It might, because of the fan service. I'm terribly sorry about that for showing you something so unsightly. You made me remember it again. Um, no, you ain't gotta show it again. You know what, we got it, we got it. I made such a fool of myself in front of everyone forgetting, making a fool of yourself. How in the world did you end up like that? Well, I got startled by the blackout slipped on the carpet and once I was struggling to get back up. It's so embarrassing. Please erase it from your memory. Even if you ask me, I won't be able to forget it easily. Sorry, I can't stand it. So, her busting it open is a truth bullet. It's a clue. Her busting it open is a clue. Got it, got it. So now we gotta examine this. Now we gotta examine this photo, okay. Hey, Hajime, there's something I wanna run by you. Before the blackout occurred, Byakuya was in the dining hall with the rest of us, right? Yeah, that's right. And if Byakuya's dead body was discovered after the blackout, then don't you think he died during the blackout? Well, now that you mention it, but why was Byakuya's body under a table? Even if the ch killer tried to hide him, it's not like he would have stayed hidden forever. Isn't it confusing? You're absolutely right. It seems finding out what exactly happened during the blackout is key to solving the mystery. There's no way I'd know. It was dark. It was so dark during the blackout I couldn't see a That's thing. Although if seeing was impossible, then there's a possibility someone might have heard something. Heard something? Are you talking about her? Uh, Mahira, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Is that what you expect me to say? Because I feel terrible. One minute, Byaki is alive and well, and in an instant, something awful suddenly happens. Of course, I'm not fine. And not only that, but whoever killed him is one of us, right? That hasn't been determined yet. It's already been determined. You've already accepted it, haven't you? That we have to find out who the killer is. Find out which friend killed our friend. I don't like it either, but we won't survive if we don't go through with it. It's not just for yourself. We have to do it to protect all of us. If I only had acted calmer during the blackout, Byakuya might still be alive. This whole thing would have never happened. Stop blaming yourself. Nothing will, nothing good will come of it. Getting cheered up by a boy isn't like me at all. Hey, Hajime, forget about what I just said. Got it? Yeah, that's fine. I got it. Anyway, I won't dwell on it for now. I can't become a burden to everyone. Plus, there might be a clue that only I have access to. Excuse me? Hey. Photos. The ones I took just before the blackout, remember? Okay, well, let's see it, girl. Okay. Hey, Bianca, everyone, come on. I'm going to take a picture. All right, say cheese. So let's look at the photo. Oh, yeah, the pictures. Want to see them? I have a digital camera so I can show them to you right now. Please do. Let's look at it. Okay. Let's see. It's this photo. So, hmm. Huh. I'm trying to examine everything here, y'all. I'm trying to look at every single thing. And this one. Okay. So I'm looking at everybody. Everybody looking a little suspicious to me. Okay, Connie's back there chowing down. Mikan is looking like she's looking at Byakuya back there. Hmm. I took these two photos right before the blackout, but is there something wrong? I didn't realize till just now, but right before the blackout, Byakuya was standing in a totally different place than where we found him. Wasn't this body under that table with the lamp on top of it, the one underneath the monitor? Hmm. I don't know, Mr. Man back there is kind of close to the AC. And he's the one furthest back. I'm being suspicious of everybody, so I need to stop. Prior to that, Byakuya was standing all along the wall farthest away from the table. You're right, that's pretty far. Everyone's standing position before the blackout might have a huge clue. Hey, can you approximate everybody's standing position from these photos? Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. It'd be hard to understand from the photos alone, so it might be better for me to plot it out. But would that actually provide a clue? I don't know yet, but I feel like leave it could. It Got it, then leave it to me. That's pretty much the only job I can do anyway. Thank you. All right, now that that's decided, you better, you better work hard on your investigation too. How much longer are you planning to stand around? Do you understand, do you understand what's going on? You gotta find out how Byakuya died. I know, but it's good she's all fired up now, but she's a totally different person now than when she was feeling down. All right, so let's talk to you. Mr. Devas of Destruction. Oh, Hellhound Earring, answer my call. Impossible. Is this effort futile as well? Hey, are you still looking for the earring you dropped? 
It is not a mere earring. It is the Hellhound earring. Long ago in a faraway land, a beast known as the Hellhound was feared by all, even by he who summoned it. Well, this is certainly random. The Hellhound tore its way through innumerable battlefields, its fangs glistening with blood, and his drenched blood red fur would dry in the howling winds of loneliness. When I finally tamed that diabolic beast, I received an earring to commemorate that event. The Hellhound earring. So that I may never forget the night I battled fearsome Pomeranian. I wear that earring at all times. Was that all about a freaking Pomeranian? The little cute dog. <laughs> I understand it's important to you, but for now, we need to investigate. Where is it? Where did it disappear to? Maybe it fell underneath the floor? The carpet didn't cover the whole floor. It might have fallen through the gaps between exposed floorboards. So that's what transpired. Such a clever little bobble. He laughed uproariously as he walked toward the wall and pressed his head against the gaps in the floor and peered beneath the floorboards. Ah, there it is. I found it, truly. What the? That is the Hellhound earring. It seems God exists for my benefit. I see. Good for you. However, how do I recover it? I cannot fit my arm through this opening. Were I to use a tool, it would probably not reach either. Then maybe you should just give up. Give up what? The world? I meant give up the earring. Fool, have you not re realized? The world will come to an end if the human race were to lose that earring. You humans are so satisfied with clothing yourselves in layers of false knowledge. But even with all those layers, you still will not survive the winter. Why am I being scolded? <laughs> it was foolish of me to rely on you fools. Fine, I shall do something about it on my own. Now if you'll excuse me, I must go save the world. I love how this man is more concerned with his airing than Biakia's big dead body on the floor. I, it's just amazing to me. He wants that earring back by any means necessary. His determination is truly inspiring, but it'd be nice if he actually help with the investigation. Huh, gaps in the floorboard. Uh-huh, so what else? Oh, let's look at the case, let's look at the case. This is the metal case Byakuya had with him. I believe he said it was made of Durmalun. Durmalun! I don't know why I wanna say Durmalun. Okay, the last time I saw it, it was closed, but there are a lot of odd things inside this case, like a knife stick and pepper spray. This is what people had on it? Jesus Christ. I said, what's this? A hard plastic case, but it's just the case. The inside is empty. I wonder what was inside. But the one thing that really catches my attention is this small key. It must be the key to the other Durham Maluma case. That other case was in the office and all of the collected dangerous items were inside of it. If the key to that Dura Lumen case is right here, then it's unlikely that the murder weapon used to kill Byakuya was taken from that case, which means the weapons inside that Dura Lumen case aren't related to Byakuya's murder. Even so, I still don't get it. Why did Byakuya have this Dura Lumen case in the first place? A case pack of all the security equipment. Maybe he was being extra cautious just in case? No, that can't be right. That's just way too overboard. Could he have known something was going to happen beforehand? And because of that, he went to all this trouble to be extra careful? Huh. Now then, where else should I investigate? Hajime. Hajime, a moment? What is it? When we're finished with the investigation here, would you like to hear what everyone has to say together? Well, we've been told that one of us is a killer. It can't be helped if everyone's on edge right now. But why me? <laughs> You're easy to talk to, and I feel like you have a sense similar to mine. We both harbor special feelings towards Hope's Peak Academy, isn't that right? Well, yeah, but fine. If we're going together, it's let's go on with it. There's no time for idle chit-chat. I'm glad. I, it'll be a great help. Special feelings, huh? Even so, what he said about us being similar, I don't think I agree. <laughs> I guess for now we should search the inside of this old building and listen to what the others have to say. Not just the dining hall, I think we should consider this whole building the scene of the crime. After all, the blackout that took place at the time would have happened throughout this entire building. Yeah, you're right. So, let's talk to everybody where y'all at. Hey girl, let's talk to you. I see. Apparently a great man once said, investigations should be done on foot. So, that's why I'm also using my feet. I'm just walking around for no particular reason. Well, there's no reason, there's no meaning. Hey. Hey, Hodgman, just realized something. Could she by any chance know what happened during the blackout? Yeah, I was just thinking the same thing. Are you serious? How do you know? <laughs> so you did hear us, even though Hodgman and I were talking pretty softly just now. <laughs> Not only do I have perfect face, style, and personality, I also have perfect ears. I see. If your hearing is so good, maybe you heard what actually happened during the blackout. When the blackout happened, you could hear everybody's voice throughout the dining hall, right? We couldn't tell, but you would have been able to make out who's who, right? Just leave it to Ibuki. It'll be easy as fried rice and gravy. Huh? I'll heartily eat it for breakfast. Oh, you mean it like it'll be easy as pie, except eating fried rice and gravy for breakfast is kind of heavy. Any fried rice that isn't fried rice and gravy is so wrong. 
She should make a metaphor with a more common type of fried rice, like egg fried rice or lettuce fried rice. Anyway, can you tell us what you heard? Leave it to me. I'm going to take a bite out of you. If you tell us, I'll let you bite Hajime later. What? Stop it. What if she takes you seriously? Let's see. The first person who raised their voice during the blackout was... That's right. It was Mahiru. It's a blackout. Oh? Next was Kazuichi's voice, and then the next Lex voice was mine. I can't see anything. Huh. It's pitch black. My future is pitch black. Hmm. What a nice remark I made. It's to the point it has its own unique charm. Just continue. <laughs> then there were more voices, one after the other. Everyone, calm down. Hmm. We gotta stay calm in a situation like this. Ah! Step on my feet. What hmm. the hell? What's going on here? This is... Uh-oh. Oh? oh? damn lights on. I can't eat like this, you know. You guys? Huh. Where are you? Why did Nagato say ow? Just for Hmm. All righties, that's pretty much it. Aren't we on I awesome? Praise me, praise me, give me lots of praise. I heard you the first time. Seriously, don't get any closer. Hey, Nagaso, say something to her. Hey, did something happen? No, I was just thinking about what Byakuya said during the blackout. What Byakuya said? Why did he say something like that? Rather, why was he able to say that? What the hell was going on here? And this is, what do you mean? About that, why don't we discuss it after we've investigated a little bit more? For now, I can't really say anything for certain. Well, it's not like I really care. Anyway, don't you think Ibuki's account just now is an important clue that will lead us to the truth? Yay! Then praise me, let me bite ya. Why are you really biting me? Okay, so she heard everybody. Cause she got hound ears. Okay, so, good. Musician girl heard that. All right, what about you, this princess? Um, there's something I wanna ask you. What is it? Um. It appears that only that wall is a different color and material. Why is that? Because that's a door. Perhaps. Oh, it's probably a fire door. Fire door? You've never seen one before? It's a door that shuts to keep fire from spreading by containing it. If that happens, you can run away, right? Wow. I see. It is like a barrier, just like lining up plastic bottles around the house. That's only done to keep cats from getting in. You know about keeping cats from getting inside, but you don't know about fire doors? I Truly, I'm culturally ignorant. I'm ashamed of myself. Okay, so that's a fire door, huh? A fire door to keep things inside. All right, Tara, Tara, what you doing? Hey, were you in the kitchen during the blackout? That blackout totally startled me. At first, I thought it was just in the kitchen, but when I finally managed to get out of the kitchen, the hallway was pitch black too. And then I heard everybody's voices, so I fumbled along the wall and tried to feel my way to the dining hall, but that place was pitch black too. It was like pitch black everywhere. Couldn't you have used that kitchen stove as a light? Ah, oh, that's impossible. This gas stove needs electricity to work, so it was directly affected by the blackout. I see, then I guess it's not possible. Since you work with fire in the kitchen, I figured you'd be able to use it as a light source or something, but I guess it's not that easy. Huh. Okay, so he was in the kitchen when this happened. Byakuya must have confiscated all the dangerous items on the kitchen's equipment list. Well, just from reading through this list, it looks like the knife next to Byakuya's body didn't come from the kitchen. It appears to have been brought from outside. From outside? Then how did the killer get past Byakuya's body check? That's weird. Strange, isn't it? I mean, he didn't even go on... He didn't even go easy on the girls when he was performing the pat-downs. If that's the case, then they probably brought the knife in advance and hid it somewhere. Still, it's surprising how much equipment this kitchen has. There are iron plates for barbecuing and even a portable stove for cooking hot pots, but this is all stuff that doesn't pertain to the murder, so I guess it doesn't really matter. I agree. Huh. So... I'm thinking that whoever is the killer, they definitely went there before, huh? Why am I getting suspicious of him now? And I feel like I shouldn't. I feel like I shouldn't be getting suspicious of him because, okay, this is why I'm suspicious, all right? Because there's paint on the tape that was underneath the table and it was on the non-sticky side. And, oh wait, or on the, whatever. It was on, it was on the tape, okay? There was paint on the tape, there's paint on the knife. And so that's making me believe that the knife was planted underneath the table. Now, since Byakuya searched everybody thoroughly, it's making me believe that that was already there before we got there. But 
the only person that I remember being in that place cleaning was Nagato. So Nagato would have had a lot of time to plant the knife under there. And in the photos, he was close to the AC. So I'm getting suspicious of Nagato right there. You, you. I'm getting, I'm getting suspicious of you. I don't know. He might be playing nice. Who knows? All right, let's look over here. Chinese, Japanese, French, and Italian cuisine. Okay, we already saw that. <laughs> Isn't it amazing that meat is so big? Even I was shocked. It's a dish fit for a tropical island. I'd never be able to get meat like this in Ayoma or Izabu. I've never been able to get meat like this in my hometown, much less Ayama or Izabu. I get it. You don't have to repeat yourself, but it's so big. Where did you get it? I asked Nekomaru. Apparently, he killed the cow at the ranch with his bare hands and brought it over. His bare hands? That's a little hard to believe, but it doesn't seem completely impossible either. Those hands of his, they look like they specialize in punching things. I wouldn't want to get punched by those hands. Seriously, Nekomaru's so wild. He's totally right at home in a country setting. I'm so jealous. My hometown is near Ayama and Izabu, so wild country things like that. They slip my mind a lot, you know? Well, I guess this meat has gone to waste since this awfulness happened right when the party started. The only ones who ate any food were Kane and Peku, Peko, who took some portions for herself. Don't say that. After I worked so hard to cook the world's most refined party dishes, only two people actually tasted them. Well, it's not like I actually believe it, but if there really is a killer out there, I'd probably never be able to forget that killer. He's scary when he's mad. <laughs> party dishes, okay. I guess I'm pretty much finished investigating the kitchen for now. Nagato, let's get, let's get going. Yeah, sure thing. Okay, so let's get out of here then. So let's leave. I'm suspicious of Nagato right now because he was the only one cleaning in there. And he was in there with me at the supermarket, so who knows? Let's talk to you, buddy. How come Byakuya was able to say something like that in the darkness? Like, what the hell? What's going on here? This is... It makes me wonder. Hmm. Okay, let's look at the storage room. Okay, I've never been in here before. The storage room is really dusty and dark. My hands are full clean in the dining hall, so I couldn't even touch this room. It even has cobwebs. There's no way I could stay in here for a long time. Okay, so let's look around then. Let's look over here. What is that? There's a huge piece of cloth randomly shoved in here. Is this a tablecloth? A tablecloth? Wait, huh? Hold on, there's something on it. Is this a blood stain? A blood stain? Come here, take a closer look. It's too dark, I can't really see that clearly. There's no mistake in it, this is a clearly a blood stain. Which means this tablecloth is connected to Byakuya's murder, right? If that tablecloth has a blood stain on it, then it's a possibility. Seriously, it is a blood stain. Huh. So there's a tablecloth over there. How'd they get it over there? I don't know how they got that tablecloth over there. And so quick, so quickly. I don't know, I don't know. Huh. Okay, so let's look over here. Stacks of clean tablecloths. Looks like they haven't been used yet. I guess there's nothing strange here. And then what about this stuff? There's an awful lot of boxes. We don't have time to go through each and every one of them. I guess I should leave them alone. A wise decision. Huh, do you not want me to find evidence? Is that it? Is this an ironing board? These are irons? It looks like they were recently turned on, but why are there three irons on this ironing board? Just as I thought, your eyes don't miss a thing. When I was looking for Byakuya after the blackout, I also found these irons, but when I found them, all three of them were turned on. Turned on? It'd be bad if another blackout happened, so I turned them off, but doesn't this feel kind of sinister? Huh, why three, why three ironing things? Hajime. Hey Hajime, how much longer are you gonna stay in this dark place? You're just wasting your time. Let's move on and investigate other places already. Hmm? Oh, I get it, you're right. Why does he want me to move on so much? So let's leave then. I'm suspicious of Nagato. I might be wrong, but I I'm suspicious of him. I don't, I don't know why, he's, he's giving me suspicious vibes right now. And I can't look at the doors. So, let's not look there. That's closed, so I can't look over there. Anything in the restroom? Okay, it's locked. Someone appears to be inside. Since it's a unisex bathroom, I don't know who's actually in there. Hey. hey, is someone in there? We knocked on the door and tried calling out to whoever was on the other side, but there's no response. This is going nowhere. I guess we should give up for now and check on it later. Yeah, you're right. Huh, so who's in there? Who's in there? Fuyuhiko, maybe? I don't know. 
Oh, okay. So this is the office. Oh, the old building circuit breaker should be inside this office. Circuit breaker, huh? M might be related to the blackout. So it's better if we check out the circuit breaker first. So, is that... Where's that? Okay, there, it's right there. There we go. That must be the old building's circuit breaker. The blackout probably happened because of this. Hmm, it doesn't look like someone did anything to it. Nothing else looks suspicious either. The circuit breaker is pretty high up. Even if you use the stepladder, you won't reach it. Mm. Yeah, I totally agree. That's why it's so mysterious. Well, during the blackout, I was panicking so bad I forgot about that, but you're right. Even with the stepladder, there's no way you'd be able to reach that circuit breaker, which means someone must have reset the breaker after the blackout, but who? I did it. It's here. You idiots had no idea what to do about the blackout, so I'm the one who reset the circuit breaker. By the way, I'm not the one who tripped the breaker. The killer did that, of course. But how does someone as small as you reset the breaker? Well, firstly, my eyes work real good at night, so I have no trouble seeing in the dark. And if you want to know how I reach the circuit breaker, my body stretches. You know I'm very elastic. Liar. I'm serious, want to see? Want to see a version of Monokuma with his body all stretched out? It's gross. It's grotesque. No, thanks. Just make imagining it makes me want to puke. Well, really? It's such a shame. Still, don't you think Monokuma's such a nice guy? In a popularity contest, he'd take first place. I see. What the hell? So he's the one who reset the breaker? Well, in that case, I'm convinced. There's no way we'd be able to reach that. If that's the case, how did the killer trip the circuit breaker? I can already tell. You doubt me, correct? I doubt everybody. Okay, I don't know y'all that much, so... However, it does not surprise me. An unexpected blackout occurred, and during that time, Byakuya was killed. The circuit breaker is in this office. Naturally, I look suspicious since I was supposed to be here. Wait. Supposed to be here? Does that mean... So I was right. You weren't in the office. But why? Weren't you supposed to guard the circuit breaker in a Dora Lumen case with all the weapons in it? So where'd you run off to on your own? Well, that is... What? Peku suddenly... Peku. <laughs> Pekko suddenly dropped to one knee and started groaning on the spot. Hey, what happened? No, I'm not feeling too well. I apologize, but excuse me. Excuse me? What was that? Pekko, it appears the bathroom inside the old building is currently occupied, so I recommend either the hotel lobby or your cottage. Huh? It seems like it will be a tough path. With cold sweat dripping from her forehead, Pekko wobbled out of the office. What happened to her? It, it's kind of hard for me to say it myself. I already feel bad enough for Pekko as it is. What does that mean? I mean, is it cool? She didn't like run away or something. Cause if she ran away, she's obviously the killer. I'm almost positive. Is that really what it is? I think, no. Is it bad food? Because I remember that she ate the food. They said that she ate a, she got a plate and got it later for her to eat. So I don't know, she might be feeling sick. So who knows? This remote control is for the office's air conditioner, huh? The timer here is set to 11.30 PM. Wasn't the timer for the air conditioner in the dining hall also set for that time? It can't be a coincidence, right? Huh. So they're both set for the same time. Huh. Okay. So let's look at the lamp. Is this the desk that the staff use for busy work? There's nothing in particular to catch my eye except for that Madakuma doll. I want to get that thing. Hello. Let's get it. There we go. I see that. That just I popped up out of nowhere. Found. Yes, you have been found. Thank you. All right. Let's check this case. The Dora Lumen case. It should contain all the dangerous items Byakuya collected. Hey. Maybe we should check inside just to be safe, but it's locked. Byakuya had the key to this particular case without with him. Check it out. I brought it with me so there's no need to worry. Hey, is it okay to take the key without permission? It's forbidden to tamper with the crime scene, but if we don't, we can't check inside this case, right? So I should open it. This guy, he doesn't feel any remorse. See? See, it's open. Oh, oh. Oh, there's other knives in there. There's other knives in there and the skewers. Forks, kitchen knives, iron skewers, and various tools are crammed inside. But it's not possible that the killer took anything from here because the key to this case was inside the case Byakuya had with him. I guess you're right about that. Huh. Let's talk to you, Mr. Mechanic. Maybe. Hey, isn't Peko the killer? <laughs> He's like, let's get rid of her now. Why do you think that? Well, she wandered off somewhere even though she was supposed to be in the office. When we were looking for Byakuya after the blackout, I went to the office right away. But when I got here, she was gone. I shouldn't say this too loudly or else Miss Sonia will yell at me. Mm. Pekko's probably the one who tripped the circuit breaker and used the blackout to her advantage to kill Byakuya. And don't you think she looks kind of ruthless too? Like an assassin, right? But it's not like you look any better either. I mean, you got the sharp teeth and everything. Like, you know, you look kind of suspicious. Huh. He just looks mean, but I know he's not. Now then. now then, I guess we're done with the office. Don't you think so? We should get going now. Huh. Let me talk to you. Let me see if there's anything else. Where does she look? Where does she go? She looks kind of pale. If she made it, then I'm sure she's fine. Beyond that, it'll be improper for me to say. Huh. 
and proper. What y'all got going on? Let me check outside. Let me check on Pekka. Let me see what she's doing. Yep. Okay, it looks like you pretty much finished looking around the old building. So how about we check out Byakia's cottage? His cottage? There might be clues there, so I thought it'd be good to check it out just in case. But I was scared I might encounter some danger if I went there by myself. Well, I don't really mind going there together, but aren't you worried about the possibility that I might be in danger? You mean, I'm? am I worried about you being the killer? <laughs> to be honest, I don't think you're the killer. In fact, I can't even imagine it. It's like, instead of living with doubt in others, it's so much better to die believing in others. Don't talk like that. We're doing this so we can live, you know? As I thought, you sure are strong. You're definitely the chosen one. Chosen by Host Peak Academy. All right. All right, then let's get going to Biaki's college. Yeah. I don't know why, but every time we talk, I don't really know how I'm supposed to react. The moment I left the old building, there was a strange scene unfolding before me. Oh, what y'all doing? Hello? What are you doing? Right. What am I doing, you say? <laughs> now that is truly a foolish question. Um, Why? We're just checking to see if we can get under the floor from here. Okay. Under the floor? Why? Who mm -hmm. said it was futile? Who decided it was impossible? I, I didn't. Did you know I cannot recover my earring? I, if it is it's... possible to get under the floor, it'll change our understanding of the murder. I think. Okay. So I thought it was important to check it. Okay, well then y'all go ahead. Under the floor, huh? I never considered thinking of it like that. What do you mean? See? Come on, think about it. The carpet I laid didn't reach the table where we found Byakia's body, right? Huh. And the dining hall floor has huge gaps between the floorboards. Then is it possible that the killer killed Byakia by stabbing him from beneath the floor? Yep. That's what I thought, and so I'm trying to see if we can get under it from here. Well, I guess it's not possible to get under the floor from outside. The building is surrounded by firm fences, so there's no way to sneak under the floor from there. Even so, I couldn't find a way to get under the floor from inside the building either. Do you think there's a possibility that there's a hidden hole somewhere? No, that's not possible. Are you sure? At any rate, it seems you can't get under the floor from outside the building. That's a relief. Relief? Why? Because if you can get under the floor from the outside, there'd only be one logical suspect. The only person who didn't come to the party and also doesn't have an alibi. For you, Hiko. I suspected him too. That's why I was checking to see if it's possible to get under the floor from outside. Speaking of which, not long after I began guarding the entrance, Fuyuhiko came here. Oh, he did. What happened, Fuyuhiko? Oh, hey, what are you doing here, all alone at a place like this? I'm standing guard so Monokuma doesn't come inside. How diligent of you. You're not coming to the party? What are you saying? Hell no, not even if you paid me. Parties are stupid. They make me want to puke. You want to come to the party, right? Isn't that why you came here? Of course not. I was just doing, going for a damn walk. Oh, please. Baby face, just say you want to come to the party, okay? Just say you wanted to party with us, all right? You was bored. What? Do I have to report you every time I want to go for a fucking walk? That's wrong. No, it's not like that, but then leave me alone. Okay, then don't come, bitch. Like, oh. Then he just left. So that happened, but why did he come here? See? He probably wants to be a part of the group, but he can't be honest about it. He believes he's different from everyone else. That's why he's always alone. Hey. He likes the main. He's like the main character of an RPG. Have you played those before? When do we start talking about video games? I mean, we are in one. We might as well talk about it. So, I like Gamer Girl. Even though we don't really know what he's thinking, I don't think we have any reason to doubt him. That's a relief. I'm glad. You keep saying I'm glad, but we have no idea who the killer is. Well, I guess for now we should stick to the plan and head over to Byakia's cottage. As long as the probability is greater than zero, that will suffice. I will most assuredly reclaim the Hellhound earring with my own two hands. It seems he has no intention of investigating. So, can we talk to her again? I guess for now I've discovered the building is surrounded by firm fences, so there's no way to sneak under the floor from there, I think. Also, Fihiko came not so long ago. Okay, cool, yeah. All right, so let's go to the cottage. Fuyuhiko, what you doing? Hello? Hello, baby face. What the hell? Didn't I tell you to leave me alone? That's not happening. Didn't you hear Marukuma's announcement? Of course I did. Apparently, Byaki is the one who got killed. So what? Ooh, he's a bitch. <laughs> I mean, in normal circumstances, he would be a bitch, but in this circumstances of Byaki, he's all right with me. What did you say? Do you think I'm the killer? Think whatever you want. I'm used to being mistrusted. Whatever, just tell me what you were doing while everyone else was at the party. Checking my alibi, huh? Well, I don't have one. I was just chilling in my cottage all by myself during that time. The whole time? Because Chiaki said she saw you in front of the old building. Shut up! Snowsy bitch! <laughs> it's true, I went for a little walk. 
and then just by chance, I ended up passing by the old building. Were you really going for a walk? Don't tell me you were actually trying to join the party. Why the hell would I do that? It's a coincidence, a coincidence. All right, I got it, dumbass. Okay, well, let's, let's not talk to the baby, okay? The baby wants his bottle. We're gonna give it to him later, okay? All right, let's go and talk to you, because you look still suspicious to me. All right. Now then, we must head over to Byakuya's cottage. If you get lost, check the map in the student handbook. Okay, well, can't we just look at the face? I could look at his faces, right? I could look at the faces. Let's look, okay, that's, that's baby face. Oh, this is his, okay. There we go. Oh, it's locked. Okay. I guess we need to ask him for help. And so Nagato took a deep breath. Madakuma. Did you call me? Did, oh Lord, here we go. Nagato, when did you train Madakuma? Hey Madakuma, I was wondering if you could do us a favor. There's something we want to investigate. Hey, who are you talking to? That's just my after image. When I get serious, my after image is unleashed. I can even play soccer by myself as long as I have this cloning technique. Don't be boring to play alone. I don't have time for this. Just hurry up and open up Byakuya's cottage already. This is for the class trial. It's something we really need. For the class trial? If this were the class trial, there's no way I can refuse. Now then, there's only one spell that can open this, these doors. Oh? See, I've unlocked the door. Now you can investigate to your heart's content. Okay, why does it open with a magic spell? But whatever. It's probably powered by electricity. At any rate, that performance was a waste of time. I see. I guess we should go inside then. Right. So let's see in his room. What you got? Oh, there's like a little envelope here. What is that? To Byakuya Tagami. There's an envelope on the table. Is it a letter someone sent to Byakuya? That's weird. There's no sender. This looks pretty suspicious. Hajime. Hajime, you should check what's inside. Yeah, you're right. Let's see. Okay, what's it say? Be careful. The first kill will happen tonight. Someone will definitely kill someone. So that's why he was acting so paranoid when we came. Okay. This is... Is this a crime warning? No, if it says be careful, it's probably a threatening letter. Letter. Regardless, who would send something like this? Maybe. This is why Byakuya suddenly decided to throw a party. Huh? The first kill will happen tonight because someone made this threat to Byakuya. He gathers everyone in one area and was extremely cautious about all the dangerous items. He was trying to create a scenario in which everyone could monitor each other. He thought if he did that, nobody would be able to kill anyone. So he believed this crazy letter? He couldn't ignore the possibility of this happening, even if it was just a worst case scenario. Remember what Byakuya kept saying? How he wouldn't let anyone become a victim? He couldn't overlook that slim possibility just to keep his promise? Then why did he keep it a secret if I had just told us? If he had just told us? He probably couldn't. He probably thought that was a worst case scenario. What do you mean? If everyone knew what was in this letter, whether it's a lie or not, everyone would have likely begun to doubt each other. And at that point, there'd be no turning back. So Byakuya tried to do something about this all by himself without telling anyone? His strong sense of responsibility is the only explanation I could think of. Anyway, whoever sent Byakuya this letter also killed him. Is that what you're saying? No, this could be a prank. And it might have nothing to do with Byakuya's death at all. What was that? He suddenly became really quiet. I see. He doesn't want to believe one of us could be the killer. But still, we've come all the way here, and it's the only thing I could think of. The person who wrote this letter murdered Byakuya. If that's the case, that person completely predicted how Byakuya would react once he received it, right? They planned to manipulate Byakuya and killed him right before our eyes in that old building. Damn it, who the hell would do that? Well, I don't know everybody that much, so I don't know. But my suspicions are still with Nagato. I might be wrong about it though. Hajime, there's probably not much time left until the class trial starts, probably. Ah, uh, which reminds me, you asked Mahiro for a favor earlier, right? Yeah, I want her to find out where everybody was standing just before the blackout. She's probably finished by now. You're coming with me, right? Sorry. Sorry, that's all you. Why are you not coming? I need some time alone. I like some time to collect my thoughts. I see, I understand. Also, if you're going back to the old building, you should hear what Makan has to say as well. I think the results of her autopsy should be ready by now. Oh, no. I'll see you later. Huh. He was pretty pale. I wonder if he's okay. But now's not the time for me to worry about Nagato. There's not much time left. I better hurry over to the old building. Huh. Is there any other Monokuma dolls in here? Yes, there is. There's one right there. There's one right there. I see you. I see you. I got it. All right. Get us a call. <laughs> oh, there's little Usami or Monami, I should say. So let's talk to her. It's too cruel. It's just too cruel. Oh, yeah. Might as well ask her about the old building's windows. Hey, do you have a sec? I want to ask you something. I don't want to. I don't want to help you guys mistrust your friends. What the hell? It's not like we're doing this because we want to. No, now's not the time to fight about stuff like that. More importantly, do you know why the old building's windows are covered by iron plates? 
iron plates. I covered them up so nobody makes the mistake of going inside. This is dangerous because of the renovation. I see the renovation, so that's why you covered them up. Because it's dangerous to go inside. Danger isn't supposed to exit exist on this island. This isn't how it's supposed to be. But why did it get like this? It's cruel. Too cruel. <laughs> they got little mushrooms on her head like Junko had when she played the sad uh, personality. <laughs> Just because it's cool doesn't mean you can just keep crying like that. Crying won't solve anything. We have to do this no matter what, damn it. All right. Well, let's get away from her and let's go here. Oh, 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 what the, was that Gundam? Was that Gundam? This sounded like it. That sounded like Gundam. Okay, I'm sorry. It's very hard to turn these corners. Hello. I feel so lighthearted right now. I, Nekomaru Nidai, have been reborn. I have no intention of losing anymore. Losing to who? I won't lose to anyone, not even my past self. That sounds cool and all, but what are you even talking about? Oh. Oh, I don't know who's behind it, but someone tried to make a shitty bastard out of me. Some scrounger was occupying the bathroom before the party was about to start. Now that you mention it, you said something like that shortly after the party started. Huh. The door won't open at all, so who was in there? However, if you think I'd be angered by something like that, you've all underestimated my nerve and patience. Do all and achieve all with one's presence of mind. That is the goal of a true leader. In other words, a leader must never falter in any situation, but always have the presence of one's mind. He says that, but I'm pretty sure he was shaken up by that whole ordeal. Oh well, the best not to go into it. Anyway, so you're saying the bathroom door was shut from before the party started to after the blackout. So I mean and the bathroom is... was finally unoccupied after Byakuya's body was found. That's about how long that lasted. What he said sounds stupid and irrelevant, but I should remember it just in case. Huh. Let's see, can I check the bathroom again? Is it still locked? Huh, it seems to be open, but I don't really need to go right now. There's really no need for me to go inside. So it's open now? Huh. All right, let's talk to you, Gamer Girl. Huh, just as I thought, it seems there's no way to get under the floor from inside the old building, maybe. So it's just as Nagato said, if that's the case, I should just give up on finding Gundam's earring. Hmm. And let's talk to you, Miss Autopsy. Um, if you'd like, I can tell you a little bit of what I want to say. Did you find out anything? I tried, within reason, to perform an autopsy on Byakuya's body, and I discovered that there were several puncture wounds around Byakuya's chest and abdominal region. Deep wounds, deep enough to reach his lungs and internal organs. It can be assumed that a very thin, sharp object around five millimeters in diameter was used to stab him over and over again, which is what I believe. Huh. Are you okay? I'm sorry. Talking about it made me sad. No need to push yourself. I mostly get the gist of what you wanted to say. I'm sorry. Still around five millimeters in diameter, huh? Isn't that pretty thin? That's as thin as an ice pick or an awl. Hmm. So then, if you will stab with that, okay, now I'm thinking, now I'm thinking. Was that staged? I don't know if that was staged or not. Huh. I don't know if this is staged or not now. Now I'm thinking, is this staged? My theory? Cause if it was, then it could be one of the ice picks that he had, cause it's very small. So it could be one of the ice picks that did it over and over and over. But then why was it not bloody? Okay, now I have another theory. Now I have another theory. Maybe, maybe, maybe. This is all staged, right? And the ice picks, well, not I mean, not the ice picks, the, the food skewers were the real objects of death. And they might have been put underneath the floorboard. Because it's small enough for Gundam's earring to get down there. So it might be small enough for the food skewers to go down there and be hidden underneath. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But I'm gonna I'm gonna look at more of the evidence, okay. Hey, you're here, where the hell did you wander off to? I wasn't wandering, I was investigating as much as I could. I see, well if you weren't slacking off, then I guess it's fine. So did you find anything? Mm. Yeah, sorta, you don't sound too sure. Well I just, just take a look at this, okay. Just as you told me, using the two photos I took before the blackout. I tried to pinpoint where everyone was standing. When I did, that's, this diagram was the result. Okay. So this is everyone's standing position before the blackout. Everyone's pretty much in the dining hall. So Terry Terry was in the kitchen. Nagato was back there by the wall. Byakuya was over there by Akane and Mikan. 
Okay. The office room had Pecco in it. Shiaki was outside. All the windows are covered. There's the AC. Okay. I made this diagram from analyzing these photos, so I'm pretty sure it's accurate. Just as I thought, Byakuya was standing a far distance from that table. It's impossible. There's no way he'd be able to move that far during the blackout. Huh? What's this line extending from the table where Byakuya was killed? So that was a line extending from there to the storage room. Huh? Where only Nagato would be. Maybe. Huh? It's the desk lamp. I drew the power cord for it just in case. The power cord from the desk lamp. If that cord is extending from the table where Byakuya was killed, that means... Hey. So did you find something? It's not clear to me yet, but I guess you're right. I didn't really understand it myself when I was drawing it. I have a feeling that it's either a potential clue or just a waste of labor. No, it wasn't waste at all. Huh? It's not clear to me yet, but there's no mistake that a clue is hidden here. An extremely important clue. Uh-oh, it's time for the class trial? Uh-oh, I don't know yet. Ready, guys. It's finally time. That's hmm. right. It's time for the long-awaited class trial. I, I don't know yet. I don't know yet for sure. The meeting place. At the okay. Island of Jabberwock Island. Uh -huh. There's a mountain with my adorable face carved into it. Lord. That, my friends, is Monokuma Rock. Great. Once you're there, please proceed to the underground by taking the elevator located at the secret entrance. Okay. <laughs> I'll see you soon. I still feel suspicious of Nagato. I do. A mountain with a carving of Monokuma's face at the Central Island. Okay, let me go ahead and clean up my place here. Okay, can I give you a present? I need to give you something. I need to give you something. I don't know. I, can I give you that? Or can I give you that? Let me give you this. Yes? Do you like it? Oh, there we go. We got a heart. You can't see the heart, but I, I got one heart right now. So, okay, cool. Huh? Are you kidding what the heck is that mountain? When did that get here? What, what's it? Right. Hold on. This wasn't here before, right? How did they even make a mountain shaped like Monokuma? No that story. That story might be true after all. There might be an enormous organization involved in all this. You mean what Byakuya said before, right? right. Byakuya, we still needed his knowledge. I still can't believe he's dead. Byakuya, Byakuya, Byakuya. What happened to Gundam and Fuyoko, Fuyuhiko? Now that you mention it, it appears they aren't here yet. Oh, I know. They probably ran away. No. Oh, hell no. Nah. There's no way I let them escape, you know. Look, I dragged this one back over here. I'm telling you, let me go. Hey, now, if you keep acting violent, I might just eat you up. Hey, Fuyuhiko, what were you doing all this time? Nothing. I wasn't really doing anything. I was just chilling in my room when I suddenly heard that fat bastard got killed. Who the fuck cares about that anyway? You. How can you say something so irresponsible? We've been doing our best to investigate this murder even though we don't want to, just to survive. Mahiro, that's enough. You too, Fuyuhiko. Dumbass. And I guess we're waiting for Gundam. I am right here. Remember this well. A main character arrives when he intends to. Huh? It seems you noticed it too. He got his earring back. If I did, then I'm right. All right, now that everyone's all together, let's take the secret entrance to the trial field. Please wait a second. My mind won't me. Just what are you doing here? Nobody asked for you. I, do you actually want to join in? Do you want to taste how powerless you are at the class trial? You're an even bigger masochist than I thought. Oh well, I am big brother who dotes on his little sister. I shall allow your special participation. I'll go on ahead and wait for you guys, so hurry over. He told us to come, but how do we get there? I don't see any doors or vehicles. He mentioned something about a secret entrance, was it? Secret entrance? So, let's talk to you, Mr. Mysterious. You were wondering about Gundam 2, right? You too, huh? So what, what, how'd you get it? Be happy, you humans have been spared. So, how'd you get it, bitch? Okay, um, Monami? Oh? Oh, okay, hello there. Don't give a flying fuck if that fat pig is dead. Who fucking cares? Seriously, Jesus Christ. Okay. Um, let's look up here. Oh, oh, the mouth. This is dangerous. Everyone, please get down. Oh, oh, okay. Well, we get a little escalator. Something came out. Could it be? Is he telling us to enter it? Such a suspicious aura. I even cre. Such a suspicious aura, even Crimson Steel Elephant Magazi is trembling with fear. <laughs> I like how they're all like sweating like he is. It's so totally suspicious. Hey, 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 
forgive me, seriously, just forgive me already. Hey, why don't we just stop here? I mean, none of this is real anyway. Like, not even remotely. There's no way, there's just no way we'll find the killer. Complaining won't get us anywhere. If you're really a man, the man of for God's sake. We've came this far. We have no choice but to keep moving forward. You're right, there's nowhere for us to run. We need to do it. If that's everyone's decision, I'll just follow you guys. If this were a video game, it'd have a very high difficulty level. Let's do our very best to clear the game. Oh, even more me ones don't want to go. Shaking with fear and nervousness, I hesitantly lifted my feet and stepped into the escalator. I won't think anymore. If I think, I'll run away. All I could do was stare upward intensely as the escalator carried me. All right, well, let's go, y'all. And when each of us enter Monokuma's rock, mm, it closes us up in there. Now we're, now we're trapped. Oh, man. This is an elevator. I see. This entire rock is an elevator. Once again, Monokuma is doing what he pleases. However, if he's gone this far and made something like this, I don't think he's playing around. Even so, we're going pretty deep. You're right. I heard an unnerving chattering sound inside my head. I soon realized it was the sound of my teeth. All I could do was purse my lips tightly so everyone else couldn't hear it. Some time passed before the elevator finally finished ascending, and then the elevator door slowly opened. Huh, here we go, y'all, once again. What the hell is he thinking, locking us in a shitty looking place like this? Are you fucking crazy? Don't mess with me, asshole. Complain all you like, I'm used to it by now. Come on, you're wasting your time and energy. Hurry up and take your seats where your names are written. It looks like everyone knows, even if we try to resist, it won't change a thing. Just as Monokuma ordered, we walk towards the seats as we have been assigned. From this point on, we need to find out who killed Byakuya. Mm. The ultimate affluent progeny, Byakuya Tagami. He was overly critical, arrogant, and condescending, but he also had a strong sense of responsibility. As we were panicking, he accepted his role as leader and tried his very best to keep us together. A guy like him got murdered. I'm so happy about it. God! The person who did it is one of us? Mm hmm. I can't believe it. There's no way I can believe it. But if it's really true, we need to find out by any means possible because that's our only option. There's no way for us to survive unless we sacrifice the killer. All right. And so, this life-threatening trial billowing, billowing with hope and despair has begun. All right. Class trial, all right! Before we begin, I'd like to confirm one thing. Is there really a killer among us? I would think so. Most definitely. Right. There's no doubt that the blackened is lurking among you. Huh. Such a sad state of affairs, isn't it? By the huh. way, this class trial is gonna be 100% fair. Oh. So there's no need to worry. Because he wasn't fair before in the first game. I'm the type who hates favoritism and prejudice. Mm. Well, not as much as I hate Monami, of course. <laughs> you hate me that much? Oh, poor now, baby. Let's begin. I'm so sorry for Monami. You're telling us to begin, but what are we supposed to do? Mm -hmm. Let's just settle this with our fists. Oh, hey, I like her. Are you even listening to the rules? Do you I know. Do you bastard get killed in the dining hall? Huh? Then everyone there is a fucking suspect. Okay, yeah, you don't need to use the F word so much. Is that you're not the killer, right? No shit. You guys went off on your own and started killing each other. Uh huh. This has nothing to do with me. Huh? What does that mean? Right. Anyway, why don't we try talking about the most pressing issue on our minds? The most pressing issue on our minds? Where we found uh, the body. Right. It's very strange to find a body underneath the table. Exactly. So, let's start with that mystery. The reason why Byakuya's body was discovered underneath the dining hall table, we can start with that, but ultimately, we need to find out who murdered him. If we can't do that, then we're dead. No thinking about if is a waste of time. We have to do this no matter what. So the class trial has finally started. From this point on, I will provide simple tutorials at every important moment. I'm sorry, but please excuse my ear tainting rudeness. As things progress during each trial, you will engage in a number of non-stop debates. During these discussions, all of your classmates will speak one after another without any breaks. It's up to you to reveal any lies or mistakes contained within their statements. This means you'll have to use your truth bullets to refute what they say. Out of all the truth bullets you find during your investigation, only the relevant ones will be loaded into the truth cylinder. Use the left stick to move the reticle, and then fire with the triangle button. Pay close attention to each character's statements and choose your truth bullets to blast the right ones. Note that if you run out of time, you'll automatically fail, so please be careful. If you press the options button during these arguments, you could preview the controls. All right, y'all, so we gotta figure out what now? What is the first argument? Knife, blood stain. Oh, okay. All right. 
Huh. Why was Biakuya's body? Huh. In a place like that. Let's see. His body was underneath the table. Uh huh. At the very back of the dining hall. Yes, it was. After the killer murdered Biakuya. Mm hmm. They probably moved the body there. Moved the body? Huh? Why? Huh. Obviously, by hiding the body. Uh huh. They tried to delay its discovery. Mm -hmm. Like a dog burying a bone. Let's see. What he just said was strange. It clearly contradicts the information I know. Huh. Why so. Yakuya's body? Let's see. Not that. In a place like that. His body was underneath the bed. Not that one. After the killer murder, Let's see. Uh, the that, body that one? Th that huh? shit! Why? I mean, God. I missed it. I missed it. I, I missed it already. I'm missing already. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm missing already. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. There we go. Let's get that. Let's skip it. Let's skip it. Let's go ahead and that one. There we go. Okay, got it. <laughs> Break. No, I don't think the killer moved the body. Hmm. Huh? Why? Try to remember what the body looked like when he found it under the table. He was face down. Though there was a lot of blood everywhere, there was no sign the killer actually dragged the body through it. Right. It was placed there. So that's why you think it's impossible that the killer moved the body. Mm-hmm. I see. I get your point. It's a lot of repeating in this oh. one. I see it. And here I thought I had a genius idea. It's okay. You thought. You tried. Oh, so stupid and boring and unpopular. Oh. Your life is meaningless. Oh, why are you so rude? I don't understand. I respond better to praise, you know. But right. The killer didn't move the body. Why was it under the table? Yaku I don't know. Killed under the table. Right. You think he was killed under the table? I mean, uh, so Yaku yes. Yaku snuck <laughs> under the table for reasons unknown. And that's when he was killed. Huh. So then, shortly thereafter, he found his body under the table. Hmm. That does make sense, but why did he go under the table? Obviously, hmm. he was hiding so he could surprise us. That dude was always a big jokester. I and know. He was? Huh. You seriously couldn't tell what kind of person he was? Right. Maybe he panicked during the blackout and dove under the table. It's a blackout, not an earthquake. <laughs> just because the power went out doesn't mean he dive under the table. The reason huh. why is probably connected to what Byakuya was doing during the party. Don't you think? Huh. The reason Byakuya dove under the table, if it's connected to what Byakuya was doing during the party, then it's probably... Was it... Oh my god. Okay, um... Was it the knife? Maybe? Huh. Was it the knife? I can prove it with this. Okay. Is it that? It probably has something to do with the knife we found right. on the table. Knife? Huh? Oh, you mean that thing that obviously screams, I have a weapon! <laughs> but it's yeah, not. He probably noticed the knife was hidden there. So in huh. order to get it, he moved under the table. Right. Who is particularly sensitive to the presence of dangerous items. Oh. So I cannot deny that possibility. I like his voice now. I kind of do. Did he notice that there was a knife under the table? I mean, the... Beforehand, he probably would have done something about it before the blackout, right? Right. I would think so. Instead of knowing about it beforehand, maybe he saw it right at that moment. Like, huh. For example, like, huh. he might have seen someone trying to take the knife out from under the table. No, hmm. that's not possible. Oh, really? You seem rather confident about that. Right. I have proof to back me up. Oh, well, then speak, this baby. Is, this is almost like a real trial. <laughs> <laughs> during the previous statement, there was only one weak spot. But from this point on, there'll be various weak spots during standing in your way. No matter how many weak spots there are, there will be only one lie or contradiction in a debate at a time. This means there will be a false weak spot. If you shoot a false weak spot with a truth bullet, not only will you fail to refute what was said, but you also lower your trust with everyone and your influence gauge will take damage. Okay, got it. All right, let's see, man. I'm still trying to figure out this whole thing myself, so I don't know. Dang, this is a lot. Jesus, okay. This is a lot. <laughs> I'm sure Byakuya ducked under the table. Mm-hmm. During the blackout. Okay. That sounds correct. 
Right, let's hurry it up. Hands, must have seen the killer take the knife. Hmm. But it was super pitch black. But he had the goggles. It was Maybe. so dark I couldn't see my boot. Night vision goggles. In the dark either. No. That. No, he, had, he had the night vision goggles. So, Byakuya had the night vision goggles then. No. Byakuya was probably the only one who was able to see in the dark. Right. Why do you say that? He was using those night vision. Nobody saw that underneath the table? Like, come on. So are you saying Byakuya was the one who used those night vision goggles? Uh, maybe. That seems to be the case. Your reasoning is out of focus. Oh, oh, she's causing it to me? Hold on. What? Obviously wrong. It should be the other way around. Oh. The way around? Seriously? The killer used those night vision goggles, not Byakuya. I mean, that's what I said at first, so. Huh. Were you surprised when I'm here a sudden argument? Yes, actually. Just between you and me, I was also surprised. Just kidding, I'm sorry. Now then, with this kind of argument surfaces, you will go into a one-on-one -on -one debate called Rebutal Shutdown, Showdown. In this mode, you have to counter the other person's claim, draw out their weak spots, and argue against them. Please counter the other person's remark with the left stick. Based on the shape of the remarks, it's important to know whether to cut vertically, sideways, or diagonally. And based on that, you can skew the debate's mood to your advantage. On the other hand, if you ignore the other person's remarks, it will skew toward their advantage. What? In the bottom right-hand corner of your screen, a number that shows the sharpness of your counter is displayed. This is the number of times you can cut remarks during one round of the debate. You will lose counts of sharpness even if you miss, so please be very careful. When the mood skews to your advantage for a certain length of time, the other party's argument changes. This means the, con the conversation will develop. If that happens, they will end up divulging some weak spots. However, you cannot normally cut remarks that contain weak spots. Instead, it will skew the mood toward the other party's advantage, plus it's going to be very big. Just like a regular debate, please review any, any weak spots using the triangle button. This is very, this is a lot to take in with this, okay? I'm going to try my best. Of course, if you don't have the correct truth blade, you will not be able to cut an opponent's remark. What's a truth blade? In this mode, truth bullets will be called truth blades? That's about it. There won't be any other changes to your handbook menu. Only the name was changed, but don't you think a change in feeling is important? If you press the options button during these arguments, you can view the controls. Well then, good luck and have fun. I am confused, so let's see. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. You just use common sense. Okay. Obviously use those night vision goggles. Um, it. hello? Um... Wait a minute, wait a minute! I can't just listen to what she's saying. I also need to respond. I don't know how. You just okay. Use common sense. Okay. The killer obviously used those night vision goggles. Can I hit her with something? I don't understand this. Damn it. I can't just what I don't understand this. I don't understand. If okay. Sorry sorry. Okay, I'm trying, I'm trying to, okay, oh, I was doing it with the freaking analog stick and it wasn't working. I was doing it with the analog stick. God damn it. All right. Oh, fudge, man. What? Just a little bit more and I can draw something out next time. Okay. Okay, let's get it. Let's get it. There we go. There we go. Got it. God. Huh. Because if they use night vision goggles. Uh-huh. Then they could have killed Yakuya even in the dark. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Okay. So, retreat? What? Oh my god, I don't understand this. Okay. Okay. No. All right, so let's 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 do that. Where's your proof that the killer used them? Okay. Because if they use them, they could kill Byakuya even in the dark. Uh-uh. Okay. Oh, shoot. Oh, God. I was supposed to do that. Okay, wait a minute. I found a whole new argument. I'm sure Byakuya brought the night vision goggles. I need to refute her claim with evidence. Okay. Huh. So, let's see. Uh-huh. Damn it! I keep doing that. I keep doing that. I keep doing that. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. 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 So, uh-huh. That. 
God it, God damn it. I hate this. I hate that. I hate doing this this shit. I do. No. No, Biakia. Huh? Definitely. God. But why? Inside the Because of that cake. Right. Also, that was Okay, so that's what was in there. I was trying to figure it out. Huh. goggles were kept inside that Duralumen case as well. Right. I said assume. Who can never use such clever language? Huh. The was the only one who could have taken the night vision goggles out of the case. Uh huh. Since he was carrying it around before the blackout in the first place. I see. Hmm. When you put it like that, it makes sense. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm still kind of blown from the reason why I was losing it in the first place. Because I was using this instead of the directional pad. So that's why I wasn't cutting anything. So, all right. Then was that knife inside the case too? If there were night vision goggles inside, it mm. wouldn't be weird for a knife to be in there too. It would be mm. weird. I am weird, aren't mm -hmm. I? Yes, you are. Like this, I'd rather be fantasizing about tonight's main dish oh my god oh, right you mean that in a perverted way he does the knife was brought in the Duralume case along with the night vision's goggles too no that's not possible the knife was hidden in the dining hall before the party even started i should be able to prove it because of the duct tape I see. there we go it had the same paint there was duct tape left under the table where the body was found right duct tape Yes. Probably hit the knife by duct taping it to the underside of the tape. Huh. So that's why we found duct tape there. Mm -hmm. Though Biakuya was thorough, even he couldn't have noticed a weapon taped to the underside of the table. This may be off time. Uh. But why was Biakuya acting so paranoid? Because he got that letter. He didn't bring a self-defense kit. Uh-huh. But he had night vision goggles inside the case, too. That's because he saw that letter. He went above and beyond being a little cautious. Now that you mention it, hmm. that applies to the dangerous items he confiscated as well. It's right. one thing to be a little cautious, but performing a body check is a bit much. It he was. Knew. But he knew. Someone was planning to commit a murder. You know that, Are Nagato. he predicted the murder? Could it be? Was he also in possession of the all-seeing eye? An all-seeing letter, an all-telling letter. That's so what too. it was. Right, Hajime? Oh, don't set me up like that. Don't do that. That's right. Yaki probably knew there was a possibility that a murder would occur because of this letter. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where are you? There we go. I can prove it with this. All right, there we go. We got it. Everyone, can you please take a look at this? Mm-hmm. Be careful, the first kill will happen tonight. Someone will definitely kill someone. And that made him the paranoid. How did you know I found this in Biafia's cottage? But he was acting like he didn't even see it. Threatening letter someone sent for him. Right. So, who's the someone? I have no idea. Besides Monokuma would write such a dumb, threatening letter like that. Mm. It wasn't me. Are you sure? <laughs> the only lies I tell are friendly lies. Are they? Those are still lies. Right. It doesn't matter who wrote it yet. So, Yakuya became paranoid because of this threatening letter? Hmm. He probably decided to throw a party because of the To letter. get everyone in one place. By gathering everyone in one place, he tried to create a situation where everyone could keep tabs on each other. Mm -hmm. In doing so, he tried to put the writer of the letter in a situation where they couldn't act. Mm -hmm. It might have been just a little prank. As long as he was determined hmm. not to let any of us die, couldn't take that risk. A strong sense hmm. of responsibility made him believe the letter was legitimate. And to be cautious. He should have told us he received a threatening letter. If he had, he would But then everybody would have panicked. Yakuya probably knew that too. So, he tried to do something about it without telling anyone? Right. See, a strong sense of responsibility as our leader is his undoing. Screw that noise! Who the hell wrote that letter? I have no idea. Obviously, the killer. Huh, the killer? Um, is it really one of us? Who is it? Among us, who's the one who killed Biakia? Enough already. Show yourself, you coward. If huh. they were willing to come forward, they never would have committed a murder in the first place. Right. But still, I still can't believe it. Someone in this room killed Biakia. There's no way I can believe that yet. Pardon me. Can I say something, please? Oh, you what sure can. Piece, oh, here you go, Simp. Here you go, Simp, Zilchi. I that I must return to this topic, but 
I just realized something concerning the night vision goggles. What? If Byakuya was indeed wearing those goggles, how did the killer manage to navigate in the dark? Right. They wouldn't have been able to see anything without the night vision goggles. But Correct. The murderer had the goggles when they took the knife. Then how did Byakuya see them? Even mm -hmm. if the knife bore some sort of mark, it would have been difficult to see it in that darkness. Oh, the glowing paint. No, the killer definitely used the mark. And because of this mark, the killer was able to get the knife from under the table. It was definitely this. Okay. They're giving us more choices in this one than they did with the first one. First one, I had three. With that, you'd be able to get the knife even in the dark. Right. In actuality, the knife we found under the table. Huh. And the duct tape stuck to the underside of the table were both marked with glowing paint. Right? Correct. Does that mean the killer painted them in advance? They could have. Them with glowing paint? It's as if they knew the blackout was going to happen. Because they set it up. They had to have already known. Right. That's why they used the glowing paint as a mark. Mm-hmm. <laughs> whoever set up the blackout is the killer. Right. That seals it. The killer is whoever was in the office with the circuit breaker. Which oh. It was you. I knew he was going to say Pekko. It's not her. I don't think so. I don't think so. Island not big enough for two glasses wearers. What? She's not. How can you believe her so easily? She's so free spirited. I do think she'd be able to reach the circuit breaker in the office. I don't care about a technicality like that. Pecco's the one who tripped the breaker and caused the blackout. What does he have against her? I don't know. By tripping the breaker directly from the office, Pecco was the one who caused the blackout. Is that really what happened? After this debate, blue colored weak spots will start appearing. If we call the weak spots you've seen up until now, argue spots the blue colored weak spots will be called agree spots wait what okay when shooting agree spots with truth bullets you need to flip your way of thinking instead of arguing that the other person's testimony contains lies or mistakes please fire the truth bullets that prove the other person's testimony is correct when your truth bullets merge with their weakness it will become a logically sound agreement isn't it a little hot in here from now on you must infer whether it's best to argue or agree based on what's being debated if you press the options button you can see the controls okay they're putting a lot of new stuff in this one okay we did not have argue and agree in the first game all right oh jesus okay all right since Pekka was in the office mm-hmm she could have caused the blackout at any time. Okay. That's impossible. Huh? Why is it impossible? Hmm. Because I was not in the office. She left out. Not even before the blackout. Huh. What happened to your guard duty? Huh. Sorry. Uh, sorry? Wait, are you gonna say anything else? Mm-hmm. Just from listening to Pecco's testimony, it's not weird to doubt her. Huh. Pecco was in the office. Okay. She could have caused the black Huh. So I might be the last one. Let's see. Oh, I just skipped it. Ooh, my bad. My bad. Okay. Okay, so let's see. Since Pekko was in the office, she could have caused the blackout at any time. That's hmm. impossible. Huh? What? Because I was not, in, not even before the blackout. Let's see that. I agree with that. Okay, there we go. Okay, cool. Okay. Whew. No, I think Pekko is telling the truth. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Don't tell me you're crushing on Pekko. Not at all. It's nothing like that at all. Right. Nekomaru's account is actually Pekko's alibi. Uh-huh. I've been trying to use it so many times, the door just won't open at all. It's true. Someone was occupying the bathroom mm -hmm. for a long time, shortly after the party started. Oh, so that was and her. Was finally freed up after Byakuya's body was discovered. So that was her in there. The person who was in the bathroom that whole time was after everyone else. Ah, huh, Pekko. The dining hall after the party started, right? I see. So there's no way anybody else could have locked themselves in the bathroom except Pekko. Uh huh. I guess that would be true. Oh. You locked yourself in the commode? Right. So Why is she saying it so weirdly, though? There's no way she'd actually say that. Gosh, you are so insensitive. <laughs> she locked herself in the bathroom for that long? There's no doubt. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you saying it like that? She'd admit it. There's no way she'd admit it. 
that you was taking a shit. I mean, it's human. We got asses too. We got assholes, okay? If, if I got an asshole, I got a shit and I got a fart, okay? I do the same thing that y'all do, all right? Hey, weren't you guys taught any basic manners? God. Or in a locker room? Maybe. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's fine. How about we stop talking about this and move on to something else? Don't worry. <laughs> The smell wasn't that strong. Oh! I used the bathroom right after you, so you can trust me. All right, but you ain't gotta. All right. It's fine. Right. Still, you were in the bathroom for a really long time. Did you get food poisoning or something? Seems Since like it. I stepped into the office. I felt this sudden rush of pain in my stomach. Hmm. Because of that, I was unable to leave the bathroom. Hmm. Including when the blackout occurred. Okay. How did it feel to do your business in the dark? Oh my did god. Get excited. Oh Seriously. my god, stop. Right, still, thank you. Your stomach pain. Was that really just a coincidence? Hey, what's hmm. the deal? Don't butt into other people's business, especially if you didn't do any investigating. I mean, he wasn't really there, so. I'm only butting in because you fucking idiots are out of your element. Oh, really? It's childish nonsense. <laughs> just what do you mean by coincidence? What hmm. I mean is. Is it possible someone slipped through some laxatives? Oh, really? Laxatives? If so, the killer could have tripped the breaker as soon as that girl left the office, don't you think? Hmm. That might have happened. Oh, to make it so that they could uh, turn the lights out, huh? The question is whether Peko's stomach ache was a coincidence or if someone intentionally caused it. Depending on the answer, the outcome of this trial could change drastically. Okay, here we go again. Oh. This is one time, this is another time I'm actually kind of stumped. I'm actually kind of stumped. So, let's see. Hmm. Did you eat anything weird? Right. I don't remember eating anything weird. Huh. Now that you mention it. Mm-hmm. You brought food to the office, right? Right. Just a little bit from the dining hall. Hmm. There might have been some laxatives in it, don't you think? Hmm. Taro, Taro cooked the food. How suspicious! Oh, I just said he might have done it. I wouldn't do anything like that. No. Oh? Laxatives would ruin the taste. Hmm. Whether Peko's stomach ache was a coincidence or if someone intentionally caused it, we need to clarify that first. Okay. Did you eat anything weird? So let's see. Me. Now that you meant you brought food to the office, just a little bit. Huh. There might have been some laxatives. Maybe that. No. Okay. There we go. Because we all ate the same thing, right? We all would have been shitting then, if that was the case. No, it's impossible that laxatives were slipped into the food in the dining hall. Because Pekka wasn't the only one who ate that food. Right. Akane ate some of it too. Oh, she ate a lot if of it. food had laxatives in it, I'm pretty sure Akane would have had stomach issues as well. Right. I'm totally fine. <laughs> said the, the dishes are innocent. Don't go make it. He said, don't talk about my food. I apologize for causing sin. Mm -hmm. Who should apologize, not you. He's the one who made the laxative accusation. I mean, he's just covering ground. Say, bitch? Oh! This bickering. <laughs> Let's just dismiss Peko's stomach ache as a coincidence and go back to discussing the blackout. Right. Oh, yeah. We already know that you trashy skank. Oh. You have to tell us. Oh wow. Trashy skank. <laughs> as long as the murder happened during the blackout, then the blackout itself is what's actually important. So we need to make it clear of how the blackout occurred. So how did they do it, is the question. Hmm. Geez, that, that is a lot. The irons? Who knows? Who tripped the breaker and how did they do it? Hmm. If you can't answer that, I'm gonna bop you on the head. <laughs> did they throw a stone and hit it? No. Maybe they used a remote control? Huh. They probably messed with the breaker. Hmm. It does not have to be the breaker. Hmm. They may have tampered with the power supply and transmitters. Or maybe they caused a power surge? Oh, wait a minute. The irons. The irons. By the way, I'm not a trashy skank. Oh. The irons in the storage room might be. How did the killer trip the circuit breaker? I'm pretty sure I've already had that clue. I think it's the iron. Okay, so it must be that. So let's see. I think that is what caused the power surge. Maybe. That? There we go. There we go. Hey. Hmm. 
Ryan Rousset. The blackout was caused by a power. Because I was like, why was the three irons there? Some were caused intentionally. Because they knew they couldn't reach it. They couldn't reach it. Arranged to cause the blackout. But you were the one in the world. Right after the blackout, the irons were still on. Right. So by leaving those irons on in the storage room, they deliberately uh. caused a power surge. And right. Yeah, it seems that's how the killer caused the blackout. Okay. Oh, oh, what? What's wrong? What? Hold on a second. Let me speak too. Okay. Yeah. Right. You say the irons in the storage room were used to trigger the blackout? Yes. Inexcusable. How? How is it? You were taking a shit. So how would you know? You know what? All right, whatever. Whatever. Oh Lord. Okay. Um. The irons in the storage room caused the blackout, and for the killer to turn the irons on, you're saying they went all the way to the storage room. And that it could have. Who is it when the blackout occurred? Can't be a suspect. It could have. Okay. Okay. No, just because people were in the dining hall. Right. Doesn't mean they're not a suspect. Correct. But the people in the dining hall weren't able to cause the blackout. Uh huh. The irons, and the killer had to go to the storage room before that. Uh huh. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Damn it. Okay. Now we're gonna go back to. Oh shoot. Okay. I am not good at this. Okay. And for the killer to turn the irons on. Huh. You're saying they went all the way to the storage room, and that means everyone who was in the when the blackout occurred can't be a suspect. Okay. So we got that part. No, just All right. because people were in the dining hall. Uh huh. Doesn't mean they're not a suspect. The people in the dining hall weren't able to cause the black. Let's and see. The oh shoot! That was, that was what I was supposed to get. Board. Damn it! All right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. That was what I was supposed to get. That was what I was supposed to get. Okay. God damn it. All right. Lord God. Got to do this all over again. There we go. Okay. So we got that done. People were in the dining hall. Uh huh. Doesn't mean they're not a suspect. Right. But the people in the dining hall weren't able to cause the blackout. If the irons caused the Let's blackout. Let's get that. Allow there we go. Okay. No, nah, I'm, I'm kind of understanding it. I'm kind of understanding it. Okay. The irons are just one reason the blackout occurred, but they weren't the direct trigger. The uh huh. Direct trigger was when the air conditioners in the dining hall and office clicked on. It kicked on at 11.30. Air yes. The timers for both air conditioners were set to 11.30 p.m. Mm-hmm. 11.30 p.m. Mr. Ham Hands died around that time, too. She need to stop calling this man Mr. Ham Hands. Because I'm about to start calling him that, too. When the timers activated the air conditioners, mm -hmm. the breaker was tripped and caused a blackout. Right. See, I understand. In Indubitably. Okay, thank you. They probably checked the old building's energy usage in mm. advance and used the irons to nearly max it out. So once huh. they set the air conditioner's timers, they just had to wait until they started up on their own. If so, mm -hmm. even if Pekka was in the office, it still would have been possible to cause a blackout. Indubitably. Right. Indubitably? <laughs> She's, she's picking it up. She's picking up the language. They probably asked Monokuma about it. Did they? Such a hateful fear. You deserve to die a thousand deaths. A thousand, you say? If I died that many times, I might really stay dead, you know? Shut up. You guys just stay quiet. Right. I couldn't have prevented the blackout even if I was in the office. Even so. Why? Oh. It's okay. You know, the breaker in the office was built into a high area of the wall that's impossible to reach. Mm -hmm. Resetting the breaker in that darkness would have been impossible. No matter what. Mm. Sounds like you don't need to blame yourself. Even uh? so, the killer is so sly. I'm starting to worry we may never actually find them. It's all huh. You don't have to worry. Oh. Because they're just a petty killer, right? Hmm. They can't defeat symbols of hope like you guys. I don't know why I feel like he's being sarcastic. Like, I don't know why I feel like he is. The main thing that's making me suspicious of him is the fact that he was in that building before everybody else and he was cleaning everything. So he would know all this beforehand. So this is this will make me think that it's him. 
Huh? There's no way everybody will lose now. Oh? This little incident will just be a stepping stone for you all. Why is he talking like this? And why did the music get so dark all of a sudden? In the end, hope always wins. That's what I believe. Oh? Nagito? What happened to you? Right. What do you mean? Well, you have been saying this whole time that there's no way a killer could be among us. Right. Well, is that so? Well, let's just put that minor detail aside for now and talk about the incident. Oh, so now he's switching personalities. We found out how the huh. blackout occurred. But the question is, who caused it, right? Uh, he looks a little Anybody more suspicious now. The timers for the air conditioners. Setting up the irons in the storage room could have been done before Byakuya set foot in the old building. Because you was in it, bitch. Shame. Any one of us is capable of that. No, it's you. Huh. Insane. After all this time, we still haven't made any progress. We haven't. Huh? Even though we have been arguing for so long? Unfortunately, mm. this is the truth. Despite mm. the fact that we've discussed this at length, there's not even one clue that leads to the killer. But that might be mm. because there's no way any of us could be a killer. But you now he's changing up. Me? Right. Anyway, I have an idea about what we all should do at this point. What? Has anyone thought about our situation like this? Instead mm -hmm. of surviving by doubting others, isn't it better to get killed for believing in others? Doesn't that mean... What? Are you saying we should all just give up and die? Right. So, there's definitely something wrong with you. Let me find out he's part of ultimate despair. Let me find out that he's trying to cause despair like everybody else, and he's part of that big organization like they mentioned in the first game. Let me figure it out. <laughs> you guys only think there's something wrong with me because there's something wrong with you. What you talking about? Respecting each other like this. There's no way that's healthy behavior. Let's stop this already. We don't have to find out who the killer is. Hold on. I'm going to do it. I don't stand this anymore. I don't want to do this to my friends. I, what? I don't want to do this either. He's playing, y'all. He's playing a game. He's me playing, y'all. Please, take me home already. Huh. Ah, I want to go home and eat candy. Okay. If everyone acts like this, I... You going to cry? Everyone calm down. We're right. We're friends, aren't we? There's no way one friend would murder another. Then why did Byakuya die? Right. Bears. Let's just give up already. I'm not giving up. I'm not trying to die. That lead to the killer anyway. Not a single one. You do. Oh. Did oh. You say something. Uh oh. Oh, what is it, gamer girl? You know who the killer is? The killer? I don't know. Oh. We do have a clue about a suspicious person. I think. Who is it, baby? Then care to tell me what's this clue you're talking about? First hmm. of all, let's try thinking about how the killer was able to obtain the knife during the blackout. Right. Can we already cover that. They use glowing paint as a mark. Hmm. No, not that. I mean before that. Oh? Before? Is she asking how the killer got close to that table? Even if they had to obtain the knife by relying on the glow from the paint in order to do that, they needed to get close to the table while it was still dark. And that bitch Nakato was right there, like I said before. He was close to that table. Okay, okay. Let's try examining the situation. Ah. Uh. My newest diagram might be useful. Ah. Uh. The diagram of where everyone was standing before the blackout, right? Um, here it is. So it might be Nagato. Uh-huh. Just as I thought, this diagram is the clue. Who the killer is and how they were able to move to the table in the dark. That's clearly shown in this diagram. First, we need to discuss how the killer was able to move that table in the dark. To that table in the dark. The killer probably used something to help them move in the dark. Okay, okay, okay. So, select a suspicious spot. There we go. Byakuya was using a night vision goggles, right? Then there's no way the killer could have used them. Oh, it's not... I guess that's not what the killer used to move in the dark. Okay, God. Okay, what? Um, to move in the dark? The lamp? Okay, oh, whatever. The lamp. Jeez. Killer must have used the desk lamp to move to that table in the dark. Okay. I hope you don't mean they turned on a light or something. There was a blackout. 
There's no way the killer could have used the desk lamp. Okay. Of course, there's no way they used the desk lamp's light. They actually used the power cord. Right? Prove it with this. The power cord? From the wall? They didn't turn the desk lamp on. They used its power cord. Hmm. They could have felt their way to that table using the power cord, right? Oh, but yeah, they could. The killer was able to move to the table and use the glowing paint to find the knife. Right. Okay, good job. Good job, Padre. <laughs> it's Nagato. The only person here who could have possibly done it. Oh, yeah. Come on, bitch. Come on, bitch. It's you. Fake ass. The only one. Right. Fakeness. Nagito, it was you, wasn't it? Wasn't it you? Yes. Yes, it was. Judging from everyone's positions before the blackout, the only person near the power cord was you. Right. Which means the only one who could have felt their way to the table using the power cord was uh -huh. Nagito. <laughs> That's just a coincidence. Oh, is it? Yeah. You had a chance, right? Yes, he did. Chance to hide the knife under the table? Yes, he did. Nagato's chance to hide the knife under the table was when he was cleaning. When that bitch was in there by himself. Like I said before. Nagito, uh huh. In the dining hall all morning? If right. So, you would have had a chance to hide the knife. Correct. Yes. If you factor uh, in the power cord and the time you spent cleaning, you're the only one who could have done it. And you would know. Seriously. That's all just a coincidence. Is it? If it's just one coincidence, it'd be fine. But when it's one right after another... Thank you, gamer girl. Is something like that even possible? Huh. Did you give yourself cleaning duty on purpose so you could hide the knife under the table? Probably did. Because why did he even have that prepared? Why did he even have the sticks prepared? This is why I don't trust people. This is why I don't trust people. Now that you mention it, Nagito did prepare the drawing to pick who cleaned the dining hall. Right. You rigged the drawing, didn't you? Yes, he did. That's how you got picked to clean the dining hall, isn't it? Oh, oh. No, if you're the killer or not. But regardless, it proves that you're suspicious, right? Right. If that's the case, hmm. that strange speech you made earlier, that was part of your plan too. Wasn't you it? To lower our guard and tried to hide the fact that you did it, didn't you, you motherfucker? <laughs> Just admit it already. Oh, Nagito, oh, you're sweating. Frankly, I don't want to believe it either. We right. We together. You were so kind. I can't believe you're the one who killed Byakuya. Uh, he might be lying. Nagito, say something. Say something to defend yourself. Oh, oh, he turned it crazy. He, he did it. He did it. <laughs> oh. So now he's okay. So now he's he's the killer. So working together to combat the despair of their friend's death. Uh, how wonderful! How beautiful it is. Really? Oh, those eyes! At that moment, Nagato's eyes, the darkness in his eyes, shone brightly, as if layers upon layers of darkness were folding onto each other, as if hope and despair had been crudely mixed together. Let's cut to the chase. Oh, if you're correct. It was my doing all along. Oh, I, I knew it. I knew it. I'm the one who hid the knife under the table before the party started. You're the only possible one. You were the one cleaning the place up. I knew it would be you. I'm the one who used the power cord to find my way to the table in the dark. Hmm. And of course, I'm the one who caused the blackout. Right. After all, there's no way I'd knowingly whip out a knife in front of everyone. Right. Uh, right. Is it just me, or does he seem a little nuts right now? But mm. I never expected Byakuya to have night vision goggles. Because oh. of that, we had ourselves a little scuffle under the table. Oh. And, well, you all saw how that played out. Wait, why'd you do it? Like this, I think we can all agree this ended up being a very interesting mystery. Did it? <laughs> Yakuya performed admirably. Okay, so he's a just psychopath. Already. Right. Seriously. What the hell happened to you? Don't tell me. Mm. Is this your true nature? Probably. He's probably me. 
entire time? Probably. Why? That's outrageous. Hmm. There's no way someone like me could apply to you guys. Really? What? Is he is he part of despair? Watching Friday the 13th, just like me. Are you saying you're crazy too, Sonya? That's quite the hobby you have there. Right. But, like, now's not really the time to bring it up. What? All right, whatever. This guy, is he, is he the real I'm Nagato? If you were behind all of this, then did you also send that threatening letter? Maybe. Yep, I sure did. Okay, no why? Man, he's just he's just talking about himself so terribly. Why would you send a threatening letter in the first place? Right. Somewhere deep in my heart. I was probably hoping to find someone who would stop my evil deeds. But why do oh, them? I bet if that really was my reason, at least some of you would feel sorry for me. Are you making fun of us? By threatening uh -uh. Kakuya, Nagito was likely able to manipulate his actions. Hmm. In doing so. Nagito was able to manipulate everyone to the scene where the murder would occur. Am I wrong? Probably true. Nagito was the one who suggested I guard the office. Did he do something to you, though, to make your stomach hurt? Oh, I get it. If Paco was guarding the storage room, Nagito wouldn't have been able to use the irons. Correct. So letter, along with all your suggestions. Hmm. It was all a trap to manipulate us. Wow. Yep, that's true, too. But you're wrong about one thing. Oh? Huh? What? I didn't need to rig the drawing for cleaning duty, you know? If that's true, oh, so... why did you conveniently get picked for cleaning duty? Right. Let's see. Well, oh. no way I'd expect you to remember it. Okay, okay, his luck. For a worthless human. I see, I got it. So he didn't even have to rig it because he's lucky. So if he wanted it to happen, then his luck would make it happen that he's the one that cleans it. Okay, I got it. Nagato's talent, I believe his talent is the ultimate lucky student. There we go. You were the ultimate lucky student. Mm-hmm. Then, did you? Then he knew he was gonna get it. He trusted my luck. Wow. I trusted I'd be picked for cleaning duty. Wow. You just relied on your luck? I mean, that's his talent, he's the ultimate luck. <laughs> it's true my talent sucks, but I'm still the ultimate lucky student, you know? Huh. At the time, Hajime said I wasn't lucky, but it was actually- Cause that's what you wanted, you psychopath. That's why I got picked for cleaning duty, just like I wanted. Uh-huh. Enough. That- I don't care about that anymore. He's like, I thought you were my friend. Certainly. Why did you kill Byakuya? Answer me! Right! Byakuya was a very capable leader. For someone like him to get killed? The despair it brings. Oh. It's only fitting that you symbols of hope should use his death as a stepping stone to shine even brighter. Okay, he's, he's leading me to believe that he's one of the despair people in the organization. He, he gotta be. He gotta be. Yeah. Was my only motivation. You're not making any sense. Mm. Let's start the damn vote already. He's like, let's go. Kill this psycho. <laughs> He's like, let's go, man. Oh. The fuck? <laughs> um. How should I put this? Okay. All right, y'all. All right, I just gotta pause it. I just gotta pause it. So, I feel like both of my theories are like converging on each other because I believed that it was Nagato that was the one that could do this whole thing because he was the one that was cleaning it. But I also thought it was a freaking setup because of what she said for the autopsy saying that it was like 
too small. Like it was five millimeters or something like that. So that's making me think that it was the skewers that actually killed him. And he probably set it up. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if this is what's going to confirm it. But I don't know. I don't know, man. Um, what are you saying? He's already confessed, hasn't he? He's confessed that he did those things. He didn't confess that he killed him. I already know that, but... Uh, there's just something a little strange. If it's hmm. only a little, then keep your mouth shut. Oh. The ugly face is stressing me out. It makes me want to puke. She is so mean to this girl. I'm sorry. You don't deserve um, it. For now, might I suggest we listen to what she has to say? Thank you. But we know who the killer is. But he didn't say that he killed him. Listening is acceptable. Thank you. However, I won't allow this to end with mere play. Now then, let us lift the curtain for our bloody spectacle. Oh, okay. From this point on, lines of white noise will appear to disrupt your reactions. Okay, well, we know what that is, so. We know what white noise is. Okay, that gives us more time. All right. A lot of people's account. Okay. So let's go to Mikan's. The killer is so obviously Nagito. Uh uh. It's okay, baby. Just speak, okay? Hmm. Yes. Nagito is the one who did it. Can you speak up, baby? Oh, wait, no, 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 no. That. That's it. That's it. All right. Yeah, that's it. That's it. I don't need to hear no more. I don't need to hear no more. It's that. That knife might not be the murder weapon. Mm hmm. That's what you wanted to say, right, Mikon? Right. What are you talking about? It's obvious the knife was the murder weapon. No. They were too small. Yaki's body, the actual weapon should be roughly five millimeters in diameter. Five millimeters in diameter? That's like yeah. way skinnier than a knife. Hey, that could be the food skewers. If you screwed up, I'll sell your fucking ass to a whorehouse. Oh, what? You have the authority? <laughs> They're not going to do that to you, baby. Is this what you're trying to say, Mikan? As long as we can't prove that the knife is the murder weapon, we can't assume that I'm the killer. Hmm. What are you saying? No one else can be the killer. It has hmm. to be you. Is it Taro Taro? Is it Taro Taro? I don't know. Maybe. Hey, don't blame me. Mikan's the one who said it. Hmm. Huh. Hey, Nagito. Are you still hiding something? Uh, what? Hiding? Right. Like, during the blackout, did something happen between you and Byakuya that we don't know about? Right. Knows, and you better spill it. This. What else do you intend to hide? Right. Jeez, the moment your back's against you the wall, you get silent. You piss me off. I agree with you what on that happened one. happened during the blackout? Oh, oh. she could hear it. <laughs> if you cross your eyes like this, it gives you double vision. Girl. Right, this is not this is not the time. Whose life is at stake? Everyone! Uh, come on! Akane, she alright, Akane's a little special. She's a little special just like Hina was, but a little more. Nobody can see in the dark. No matter how hard you think about it. Hmm. The truth is beyond your sight. Don't you think that's a pretty clever metaphor? Despite hmm. the fact that it came from me. No, that's not it. Huh. Not it. What's not it? The truth is beyond our sight. No, that can't be it. There should be some way to find out what happened in the dark. Oh, hell. Um. The night vision goggle. I mean, uh, not the pose. Uh. Let's see. Maybe. No, not that. Okay, um. Let's see. That? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, 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 so it's not that, it's not that. Okay, let's see. I'm thinking that it is her account, because she can hear. Okay, there we go, okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. 
Even if we couldn't see what happened in the dark. Uh-huh. Pretty sure someone could have heard. Isn't that And that was Ibuki. Oh, real? Yes. Don't act so surprised. Remember? Everyone was shouting during the blackout. Everyone, calm down. Yes. We gotta stay calm in a situation like this. Right. Don't step on my feet. What the hell? What's going on here? This is. Ow. Turn the damn lights on. I can't eat like this, you know. You guys, where are you? <laughs> Wasn't the blackout just in the kitchen? Perhaps the breaker overloaded? Hold on a sec. I'll hmm. go along the wall and do something about it. Hmm. Such perceptive hearing. Impressive. Uh huh. I'd expect no less from the ultimate musician. It's True. a good thing your ears are awesome because your face, style, figure, and personality totally suck. Girl, your personality is uglier than everybody else in this room. You do not need to talk, okay? <laughs> You've cut me deep with your knife of truth. <laughs> After hearing what Byakuya and Nagito said in the dark. Hmm. What the hell? What's going on here? This, this is... Uh-huh. It almost sounds like... Byakuya fought back against Nagito and her son. Well, he fought against somebody. Actually what happened. Hmm. As a sign of respect for Ibuki's talent, I have a small confession to make. Oh. I was actually shoved out from under the table by Byakuya. Oh. Shoved you out? What? Just as the blackout occurred, I hurried to duck under the table and grab the knife. Oh, really? Byakuya, wearing his night vision goggles. Caught me and shoved me right out from under the table. Oh, so he pushed That's you. <laughs> right. I'm so incompetent that I couldn't even grab the knife. Yeah, you a bitch. So Byakuya stopped him when he was trying to get the knife. And he got shoved out from under the table before he could even grab it. Well, it sounds plausible. I mean, just from listening to what they both said at the time. What the hell? Okay, yeah, we got it. We got it. I can interpret it like that. No, actually, now that I think about it, that sounds like exactly what happened. Getting shoved out from under the table. I was just as confused as you guys. Hmm. Lost sight of the glowing paint. I didn't even know where the power cord was. Huh. I realized it, the lights had come back on, and the obvious body was lying under the table. Huh. Oh? Are you oh? saying you're not the killer? From the yeah. Killer, the idea to throw a party, hiding the knife, setting up the blackout. He wanted to kill him. All going according to plan. But unfortunately, hmm. my plan failed. And all thanks to Byakuya's night vision goggles. Uh-huh. After that, even I don't know. You failed? Hmm. Then you're not the one who killed Byakuya? Uh, that's what he's saying. God. We spent all this time talking back and forth. Lord Jesus, this is going to be a long-ass trial. What other world? Jesus Christ. You need to have hope. Do your best and move forward. Rise oh, shut up. Challenge again and again is why you guys are the symbols of hope. Shut up. Is Nagato really not the killer? Is this guy really the Nagato I knew before? No, there's no way I can say that. I just thought I knew him, but this whole time I didn't know anything about this guy. I didn't know his true character. It's as simple as that. But now is not the time for me to dwell on that. We need to find Byakuya's killer by any means possible. Because if we don't, we... We will die here. So we need to figure out who it is fast. Suspended? Suspended? Okay, so we're resuming. They had to give us a break. And my heart is throbbing like crazy right now. The group leader Byakuya got killed. And his killer is among this group of students. Oh, they assumed I would stop. Okay, okay, so that, that's why they're doing this, okay. No, I'm not gonna believe it. Hmm. I believe in everyone. Oh, that's you, so baby. Do your best. And don't forget to save regularly. I will. Thank you. Well, what now? If the knife isn't the murder weapon, there's no definitive proof that I'm the killer. Hmm. We'll be the judge of that. Huh. You say you were shoved away, but you can't actually prove it, right? That's I mean, he right. didn't kill Even him. If a different weapon was used, it does not mean Nagito has been cleared of suspicion. But, but hmm. there's another reason why I don't think Nagito is the killer. Is it the floorboard? Still more? Based on what we've discussed, 
Yasuya was killed under the table, right? Right. Is something wrong with that? Well, even if that's true, I hmm. think Nagito looks, you know, clean. Oh, there's no blood on him. Nobody's ever complimented me on my appearance before. Not even my own mother. Oh, that's sad. Okay. I'm not talking about your looks. Aww. <laughs> Why does Mikan think Nagato looks clean? Because there's no blood on him. I see. Right. Are you trying to say something like, why didn't Nagito have any blood stains on him? Right. Yes, that's it. Because he would have, yeah. The table, there was a lot of blood splattered everywhere. I wasn't even thinking of that. Okay. There even blood stains on the inside of the tablecloth. Right. So it definitely happened he under there. Byakuya to death. Strange he did not get splattered with an appropriate amount of blood. Mm. I didn't get any blood on me. That is weird. All right. Let's stop talking to you him. You just used something to block the blood, didn't you? Something huh. that might have been used to block the blood splatter. Oh, it could have been the tablecloth. Could have been. Hmm. Huh. I guess we did see something I could have used. Yep. Isn't that right, Hajime? We did. We did. Yes, there's only one thing that could have been used to block the blood splatter. And that was definitely this right there. There we go. Okay, we saw that. You're talking about the bloodstained tablecloth we found in the storage room, right? Mm -hmm. There are blood stains on it. That settles it. Nagito used the tablecloth to block the blood splatter. But right. But was found in the storage room, right? Uh-huh. Are you suggesting he hid it there after the murder? You mean after the lights came back on? Hmm. What would he have done if we'd seen him? That's true. The tablecloth was pretty big. So even if you tried to hide it and take it with you... You'd have to stuff it, right? Going under the table, getting a knife in a blackout... That's a lot! ...stabbing someone. That's not just impossible for someone like me. Wouldn't it also be impossible for you guys too? Hmm. Then what does it mean? I don't know. There's another killer. I didn't necessarily stab Yakuya under the table. Oh? No. There's no mistake that the murder occurred under that table. I'm getting confused, man. Even the inside of the tablecloth was bloody. Right, he was killed there. Yakuya was killed there. That doesn't mean where Yakuya got stabbed and where the killer did the stabbing are the same, right? What? I don't understand at all. Why? I don't understand. The place where Yakuya got stabbed and where the killer did the stabbing are different? You look like you're on to something. Uh, but it sounds like a riddle. It does. On to something, but it's still not clear what that is. Under the table, but not under the table. If it's somehow possible, it's the only way that makes sense. Did they put the cloth? I don't. I don't know. I don't know. We should put aside all unnecessary preconceptions and just choose the answer. I think. I don't. I don't like what. In scenes, we have to figure out important words. The improved hangman's gambit will occur. The goal is to line up the right letters in order so it reveals the key word related to the incident in question. Improved hangman gambit is like a little puzzle game. Various letters will be flying across the screen in all directions. There are two rules you must remember. If two different letters clash, you'll take damage. If two of the same letters clash, clash they will fuse. You must make two of the same letters clash while you try not to let two different letters clash. That is what's most important. In order to do that, you've been given a technique to catch and release. When you move the radical with the left stick and press the X button when it's on top of a letter, you can snatch the letter like a vacuum. This is what it means to catch the letter. However, you can only catch one letter at a time, so please be careful. When you press the X button, when you have a letter caught, you can shoot it where your cursor is aiming. This is how you release the letter. With catch and release, you can change the position of the letters and hit letters into each other. Make sure you hit the same letters so you can fuse them. The fused letters will freeze and get bigger. By pressing the X button, you can blow it up and erase it from the field. This is called firing the letter. This is so many controls, like, for this. It is. Catch and release with the X button, and after you fuse, fire with the X button. That's how the... That's a whole lot of X buttons. However, you just erase the letters, you won't be able to clear the game. Ultimately, the main goal of improved, okay, is, okay. Display the question with the with the square button and figure out what keyword will answer the question. This is a lot. 
about lining up the keyword instead of pressing the X button to fire the letter, please press the triangle button. If that happens at the same time when the letter blows up, it will be sent to the keyword list. If the sent letter is correct, it will fit in the keyword list. If it's not, the influence gauge will take damage. You must write the keyword in order. I'm based on the flying letters. Please think about the completed word. Also, if you have a fused letter alone, it will blow up on its own. Okay, God. It took so long to explain it, but do you understand now? Okay, God, Lord. I, I hope I get it. Good. Jesus. The place Byakuya got stabbed and the place where the killer did the stabbing aren't the same. Using those words as a clue, I should put aside my preconceptions and try to think about it. Something is coming to me. Just a little bit more. I have a feeling I can see something. So, what? What is it gonna be? Okay. Okay, let's display the quest. Where did the killer stab Byakuya from? Okay. So let's do that, that, and get that gone. What would that be? Let's do the U and the U. Oh, okay, so that's under. I know that that's under. So let's definitely hit U, U, get that gone. N and an N and put that there. There we go. Okay, so let's get that gone, bam. Okay, let's speed this up, Jesus. Okay, let's get the D, the D, excuse me, pause. <laughs> Put that there, bam, get that gone. All right, let's speed it up, let's speed it up. I don't need no T's, so let's get the T's gone. I need the E, there we go, bam, put that there. Under, I need an R, so let's put that, get that away, bam, let's get the R, and let's get that R, under, under, oh. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, there we go, there we go. Under the, the, oh shoot. Oh shoot, oh shoot. Let's put that back. Under, let's put that there, get that gone. I need a T, I need a T. So let's, let's speed this up. Under. Oh Jesus, Jesus Christ, okay. Can I get a T? Jesus Lord. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I wanted that T. Oh, I wanted the T. I didn't mean to shoot the other thing. I didn't mean to do that. Under. Okay, so let's get that. Let's shoot that gone. Bam, bam. Let's get that gone. Under. I need another T. I need another T. Yeah, get that, get that, get that. Okay. There we go. There we go. Under. T H F. Let's get that gone. God. Okay. Oh Jesus, oh Jesus, oh no, 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 put it, put it back, put it back. Okay, let's put that there, let's get that there, bam. E, and then the E, there we go, oh damn it, I was trying to get that. Under the, let's get that gone, bam. Let's get these two gone, bam. Let's get this gone, bam. Let's get that under the, let's put this together, shit, shit. Shit, shit, shit. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. We're gonna get this right. We're gonna get this right, y'all. We're, we're gonna get this right, y'all. I'm so sorry. It's a lot we gotta go and get away. Under the table. So I need another T. I need another T, okay? Under the table. But I'm not getting a T. I'm not getting a T, okay? Sheesh. Under, oh, oh wait, oh, I need an F, I need an F maybe. Under the floor? Under the floor, that's what I was looking for. That's what I was looking for, okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 all right, all right, I got it, I got it, I got it, I was, I was wrong, I was wrong. That's what it was, that's what it was, bam. Under the floor, under the floor, under the floor. Okay, wait, wait, okay, okay, okay. I need that, okay, let's put, let's get the R. There we go, bam, under the floor. I don't know why I was gonna say under the table. Under the floor, okay, got it, got it. Under the floor. <laughs> got it. Okay. From under the floorboards. Yes. Under the floor? I don't know why I was stuck with under the table. I needed to stop doing that, okay. The floorboards in the old building are full of gaps. Yes. And there was no carpet laid out under the table. Mm -hmm. They stuck the weapon through one of the gaps. They could have stabbed Yaki to death. Right. Oh! So, 
That means the killer was able to get under the floorboard. Huh? Wow. Right. I don't know that. I have a feeling there's someone here who does know. Shiaki? That's right. If I remember correctly, one person here should know how to get under the floorboards. Is it? Wait, it should be you because you got your earring. Right? The only one. You got your earring. Yes. Hey, Gundam. You dropped your earring in the dining hall, right? Right. Referring to the Hellhound earring? Yes, I am. I said, are you referring to the Hellhound earring? Yes! About that God. Earring. Right. The floorboard, right? Uh-huh. And you got to it. <laughs> Just a bit longer, and I would have reduced everything, including that old building, to ashes. <laughs> However, it's just as the old legends say: the Hellhound earring has returned to its owner, to me. Oh. It's safe to say that that earring is the one hanging from your right ear. Right. Could it be? Oh. Gundam wasn't wearing an earring during the investigation. No, he wasn't. And if he had it on by the time the class trial began. Uh-huh, that means he was able to get that underneath there. Gundam was able to retrieve his earring from beneath the floorboards during the investigation. Right. So, Gundam knows how to get under the floorboards. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's understandable. After mm -hmm. all, you fools only view the world oh. through eyes of glass. Oh, my lord. But I am different. Look at this little hamster. My four dark <laughs> Destruction. It is of no concern. Oh. True. This is the evil fourth eye. <laughs> For the might of the evil fourth eye, uh -huh. all visual chaos is rendered asunder. Okay. I'm embarrassed just listening to him. <laughs> right. Oh, man up and speak more clearly. Right, in English. Uh, I shall tell you all. The answer was in the storage room. Oh. Oh. Oh, his hamsters found it. One of my four dark devas of destruction, Mirage Golden Hawk, Jumpy, has seen beyond the chaos. I a love the hamsters. Passage of doom leading to the underground lurks beneath a large assortment of random boxes. Oh. Securing a lighter from the supermarket, I threw caution to the wind and ventured below the floorboards. And mm. as a result of that lonesome battle, I was able to recover the hellhound earring with my own two hands. Ah. Huh. <laughs> Tremble with fear, fools. Behold my power. He sounds like the ultimate villain. Like, this is why I thought he was a villain in the beginning. Because of the way that he speaks. He speaks in, like, monologues that villains do all the time. There he goes, blabbing about power and crap. You're ridiculous. You're just a breeder, you know. <laughs> It sounds like you can go under the floorboards from the storage room. Right. It has to be how the killer did it. Hmm. If the space beneath the floor is empty, uh -huh. it's not that far to move from the storage room to the dining hall. Right. I see. If they pass through the storage hmm. room, I understand why the tablecloth was put there. Oh. The killer lurked under the floorboards during and the then party. Stab. And then stab. from there... Stab, stab, stab. They probably covered the okay, wait a minute. They probably covered themselves with that tablecloth so that they didn't get blood on them and then put it in that little that little bin in the storage room. Mm. Huh. Are you sure? Maybe. You like stab, stab, stab? Should it sound more fleshy? Like <laughs> Was it Terra Terra? Talking about your sound effects, you're saying they snuck under the floorboards. But mm -hmm. That means they would have had to leave the party, right? So right. Was there anyone who was able to do that? Then whoever huh. wasn't at the party is the killer. They must be the one who was oh. waiting under the floorboard. They're thinking about who you go. The party again? I didn't oh. participate, but I was guarding the entrance. Remember? Mm-hmm. Monomi over there can be my witness, right? Yes. Yep, it's she was Monomi there. Monomi over here is your witness. <laughs> there's no need to discuss this matter further, but I was unable to leave the bathroom. I was right. in the kitchen for a long time, but I frequently went to the dining hall to deliver my dishes. Mm. The only person who wasn't at the party... Fuyuhiko! Uh-huh. Shall you see uh -huh. the photo I took before the blackout? Mm-hmm. 
obviously has to be him. Fuyuhiko. What you do? Yay! It's decided! Oh? What the fuck are you saying? I'm not the killer! You better prove it now, bitch! What happened to the tough guy who was saying stuff like, I can do it. Right. Don't mess with me. I'll fucking kill you. See, this is the energy that you had before. So it might, it might be you. Who See, knows? You're making threats again. Right. Yep, yep, that's right. Things are starting to get exciting. Like, it could be you. Good news, you're now allowed to use the silencer. You can use the silencer with the X button as many times as you want. You use the silencer, you can shoot down the Y. No, oh, okay, yeah, we got it. Okay. This, this whole, um... Trial is just making me think more, 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 more. Okay, so during the party, the huh. was lurking under the floor like a cockroach. Right. You could have stared at panties all day. Uh huh. Without going to the storage room in the dark. Mm -hmm. Is that true, Fuyuhiko? Right. Do not like I'm the fucking killer. <laughs> but when the party started. You weren't there. Nobody saw you, you know. Right. That means you have no alibi. Huh. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Oh, damn it, damn it, damn it. It is self-evident. Huh. The only person who doesn't have an alibi during the party is Fuhiko, but is he really the killer? Hmm. During the party, the killer. Okay. The you could have stared at panties all day. Huh. Without going to the storage room in the dark. Is that Let's true? see. But when the party nobody saw you, that means you have no. Let's alibi. see. Her account, no, right? Okay, there we go. Huh? No, for you, Hiko definitely has. Because she was outside. Isn't that right, Chiaki. Um. Oh, you're right. Right. You were out there. You saw him. <laughs> Fuyuhiko after the party started. Mm-hmm. There's no way he could have been waiting under the floor before then. Right. Should've said that earlier, dumbass. Oh. It's still your fault. Like, why were you even lurking around he the wants, building in the first place? He wants to come to the party. Shut up. He you wants to come. There's a secret passage to go under the floorboard from outside. And he came to spy. Mm. What'd you say, motherfucker? Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> He's not scared. <laughs> Regardless, it's impossible to go under the floorboards from outside. Chiaki and I already confirmed that. Mm. Someone definitely went under the floorboards through the storage room during the party. Mm. Are you? It was probably during the blackout. How are they able to move this fast during the blackout? Because Jesus, that wasn't that long, all right? Well, if someone disappeared during the blackout, no one would have noticed. Mm. Walking down that dark hallway to the storage room is like trying to make eggs benedict without any eggs. You're mm. right. I couldn't even see the office in that darkness. And that room was much closer. Right. But is it really impossible? It might be better if we examine that possibility a little bit more. I'm trying to figure it out, man. You know, there's no way you'd be able to find your way to the storage room. Hmm. But I can't stop thinking about it. I feel like there's something I overlooked. For clarity's sake, once again. We're getting close to the final stage. Thank God. Or the spotless. Oh Lord, here he go. Mm -mm. I think it's time to settle. This. We not voting yet. We're not voting yet. Let's make our argument. What's up? Huh? Let's see. The hallway was really dark during the blackout. Hmm. Moving to the storage room like that. Uh huh. It's like making a seafood bowl without fish. Huh. Is it really not possible? The fire door. What if they use the string like the cord? Huh. Maybe there was another pair of night vision goggles? Huh. What a pain. I'm gonna go with my gut. What? What if they used a light? A light? In the dark? Oh, it sounds impossible. Right, everybody couldn't see. The killer's method for moving in the dark might be what one person suggested. If so, I might be able to prove it. The hallway was really dark during the blackout. Uh huh. Moving to the storage room. It's like making a seafood. Is it really not? Let's what see. If they used a string like the cord? Maybe there was another character. Let's see. I'm gonna go with what if they used a light? Maybe that? 
I agree with that. Okay, there we go. I was I was highly confused for a second. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I know. The killer had a light with him. Mm -hmm. oh, I was right. <laughs> She's like, I was right for what? There was one nearby for sure. See? It's written on the kitchen's equipment list. Uh-huh. 20 forks, 20 knives, 20 spoons, 5 iron skewers, 3 fire pans, 20 wine glasses. There are also iron plates for barbecue and even a portable stove for cooking hot pots. Huh. Kitchen seems to be well kept. It's the portable stove. Oh. The portable stove? The portable uh. stove isn't powered by electricity. And it's also small enough to carry around. So, huh. you can use the portable stove to move from the hallway to the storage room during the block. So I'm thinking it's Teru Teru. Like I was saying before, it might be him. Because he's the one that knows about the stuff. So, about the cooking stuff. So, is it him? Hmm. I never considered the portable stove. But there's a hole in your argument. Oh? The home. My huh. friend, the home. Oh my god. You could explain it to me in much more detail. You're disgusting. Oh, I wasn't making a perverted joke. You're disgusting. Anything. It's really not a perverted joke. I'm, I'm serious. Uh-uh. Uh -uh. yourself just makes it even more suspicious. Right. Nasty. You're nasty. Will you battle against me? Well, then bring it on, bitch. Let's bring it on. I don't know how I'm a witness, but let's bring it on. Will you be able to break my argument? Maybe. What does he mean by battle? It sounds like he's enjoying a game or something. Damn it, there's no way I'm gonna lose against someone like him. All right, let's go then. Okay, night vision goggles, a party is just a fire door. Okay. Did you forget what Kazuichi said earlier? Oh, oh, okay. He said the hole was too dark to see the off. The light from the stove right. that you mentioned. Uh-huh. It contradicts his testimony. Huh. Why are you intentionally doubting his testimony? Huh. I can't back down. Oh, 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 come on, come on, come on. There we go, there we go. There we go, let's advance. What Kazuichi said. Uh-huh. What are you trying to say? Right. The reason Kazuichi couldn't see the office was because the hallway was dark, right? Right. The light was shining in such a dark hallway. Wouldn't Kazuichi have seen it? Oh, no, 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 no. Such meager hope. There's no way I could let you win. Jesus, I'm trying, y'all. This part is hard. Damn it, it looks like I screwed up. I need to think about this again. Okay. Let's see. Maybe, no. Let's see. Maybe. Okay, okay. There we go. There we go. Nagito, did you forget? Or are you just pretending you forgot? Oh. What are you talking about? He might be there pretending. Be a wall that blocked light. Uh huh. I'm talking about the fire door in the hallway. Uh huh. It, it does. Was, it would form a perfect wall in the hallway. Plus, it sure does. The rounds a corner just beyond the fire door. So even mm -hmm. if there was a small gap in the door, as long as they passed the corner, the light still wouldn't peek out. Hmm. I see. You actually noticed the fire door. Uh -huh. Just as expected of the ultimate. Uh, look, look. You still don't remember your talent, do you? Oh, and you oh, know? Who cares about that right now? Why? He bringing up irrelevant stuff. What are you plotting? For someone who insists he's not the killer, you are quite nosy. He's just messy. So That's scary. it. If you're that angry, why don't you take a deep breath? Oh. You like to piss us off. How about I shut your fucking mouth for you? Oh, go do it, baby face. It's okay if you guys fight, but I won't allow a burly brawl that might offend people. <laughs> More importantly, can you hurry up and decide who's the blackened already? Oh. Time runs out when I get bored. I understand. We've been here for a very long time. I, I mean. You're telling me to pass the torch, right? Yes. Pass the torch? We're going to ask the real killer, not an imposter like me. To show themselves. Hmm. You're obviously the killer, right? No. I think I am. I really don't mind. He wants us dead anyway. Whatever conclusion you ultimates arrive at. So. He wants us dead anyway. That's why he's saying that. So you're telling me to call out the real killer, even though I really don't want to condemn that person, but there's no other way, right? The person who used the hallway's fire door as cover and used the portable stove to move in the dark and snuck under the floorboards to stab Yaki to death using the glowing paint as a mark. So the only killer I can think of is Teru Teru. You and only you. 
I really hope that it is Teru Teru's ass. I really hope that it is him. You. You're the only one. Okay, so I was right then. I was right. Could it be you? Oh. What? What are you talking about? It could be him. Is that true? His little ass. What are you talking about? There's no way. You're the one that knew about the stove. So if you have an objection, please speak free. Right. Objection or not, why am I being treated like a killer? Because the portable stove used in the murder came from the kitchen. That you knew about it. That's the only reason you're treating me like a killer. Isn't that a little drastic? You're cruel. Huh. cruel. Too cruel. I I know. Huh. That attitude is so not like you. I feel like I'm good at this. So upset. I feel like I'm good at guessing, maybe. He said, call me chef. You fall to aspersions like this, mm. who will be there to support the future of the culinary arts? Mm. The future of the culinary arts? Oh. That's right. For the future of the culinary arts, uh -oh. you must face this and fight it fair and square. You're right. Oh? Yeah. That's totally right. So what so. is an aspersion anyway? <laughs> oh my god. Don't do that. Don't don't do that. That's gonna get you messed up. Don't do it. Nagito, why are you interfering? Let's assume that the killer used a light. And that they used the fire door to mask that light. And right. They moved to the storage room and snuck under the floorboards. Then what? Then stab, stab, stabby. It's dark under the floorboards too. So how would they be able to stab the author? You're not gonna say they shine the light on Biaku, you're right. The plan would have been ruined if you noticed. Ah, that's right. What do you think about that? Oh, that's, that's... There's no way you can answer. Huh. You personally haven't investigated what's beneath the floorboards. If I have not. Adam should know. He actually went under the floorboards. Good. No. Be my alibi. Fortunately. There was nothing related to the incident under the floorboards. Oh. The only thing I found was a strange liquid oh. in the darkness, near where Biakuya's blood was dripping. Shining in the darkness. What? A shining liquid in the dark? Was it the paint? Super important. If there right. was a shining mark like that, they would have been able to move to it in the dark, right? Right. By doing so, it might have been possible for them to use that mark to target the victim. Mm-hmm. The victim was talking about Mark. What was the Mark? The Mark was definitely glowing. And it was, hold on, hold on, hold on. Not that, okay, let's go back up. Let's go back up. Okay. The knife, right? The knife? Okay, there we go, there we go. We got it, we got it. <laughs> the Mark you're talking about is the glowing paint that was applied to the knife. Right. right. Uh, by using the glowing paint as a target, they were able to judge where to stab even in the dark. Uh huh. I see. The killer didn't target an actual person. They just struck the moment the glowing paint moved. Mm -hmm. That would be the moment someone grabbed a hold of the knife. So, uh. the killer used the mark that I prepared for finding the knife as a mark for stabbing. Yes. I see. That's why Byakuya got killed when he took the knife. But if they were mm. able to do that, wouldn't that mean the killer knew about Nagito's plan all along? Well, Teru Teru! Did you? Seriously, I don't know anything. You get red! Really? I don't know anything at all. Why are you sweating? Can I ask everyone a question instead? What? You again? What? Stop already! This is a long ass trial. What? Oh no. We should give everyone a fair opportunity to speak. Jesus! Teru is the killer. That would mean he went to the storage room during the blackout. He could have. And just what did Ibuki hear during the blackout? She heard his voice, but that could be coming from underneath. Step on my feet! What the hell? <laughs> you guys? She heard Teru Teru's voice in the dining hall? But he could be heard from underneath, couldn't he? Teru Teru was in the dining hall during the blackout. He was, but underneath the floor. That's right. That's exactly it. But Teru he was Teru there, was but the moment the blackout occurred, right? So why was he in the dining hall? I, 
I thought the black belt was only in the kitchen. So oh. I panicked and ran out of there. Diddy. Of the hallway was dark too, but somehow I managed to move along the wall toward everyone's voices. Well, hmm. it's not that far to move along the wall from the kitchen to the dining hall. Right. That sounds fishy. Right. If I remember correctly, you can tell when a person is lying by licking their sweat. You're disgusting. Oh, if you want. You should try licking me. Oh, yeah! No way! Ew. You look greasy. <laughs> I heard Tara Tara's voice in the dining hall. Ibuki swears on her honor. But he could be underneath the floor no saying it, though. The dining hall, not the storage room. Which means... Lord. Not the kill. Nagato's trying to get us to die, yo. Oh, my God. Why do you keep falsely accusing me? Because... I wanna blame you. I just don't want to die. So proud of yourself, Hajime. You're just progressing toward the hope you believe. Sir, you. Ooh. Now, Hajime, show me more of your hope. I'm gonna show you some fists in a second. Teru Teru's hope. I'm gonna show you some fists in a second, okay? He could be underneath it and still be talking, and people could hear him, right? God. Okay. All right. The gap. I know it gotta be the gaps. Let me ask you again. What? Did you go to the storage room during the blackout? Mm-hmm. There's no way I went to the storage room. Oh? I was somewhere totally different. Oh. Fishy. I definitely heard Taro Taro's voice. Uh-huh. It's handsome. Unlike his face. Oh! <laughs> Maybe it was recording or something? Huh. Nope. Definitely a live voice. Right. Right, as long as I have her testimony. Hmm. The fact that I was in the dining hall cannot be disputed. Let's see, you could be underneath it, bitch. I'll shoot through that you could be underneath it, bitch. So. Just because we heard Tara Tara's voice in the dining hall doesn't mean he was literally in the dining hall. Right. Uh -huh. Why? Remember the floor in the dining uh -huh. hall? Uh-huh. It was full of gaps, right? See, so you could just breathe through it. Under the floor. It should have sounded just like the voices in the dining hall. Right. Oh? Oh yeah, I caught you now. I caught you. So he brazenly shouted from under the floor to make a speech for this in the dining hall. Correct. Is that true, Teru Teru? Hold on a second. Oh. Can you explain this, Teru Teru? I told you to wait a second, ain't I? Oh. What are y'all even saying anymore? I'm telling you I was in that damn dining hall during the blackout. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. His, his, his accent switch is just so funny. Where are you from again? Right. I was born in West Asafu and raised in South Ayoyama. This guy's a major liar. Right. If Tara Tara was in the dining room, <laughs> he should have been there after the power returned, right? Well, mm -hmm. I believe so. There's no way he could have gone back and forth in that dark hallway. Huh? Right. Was Teru Teru actually there during that time? I, I sure was. Oh? I was there the whole damn time. Mm -mm. Something like this shouldn't be decided by gut instinct. Mm. People's lives are at stake. And you don't care about them. You guys should have been deciding this on the spot with your haze and memories. Oh my god. It's getting even worse. Right. He's definitely lying. However, I am not sure. Mm. I believe that he was there, and I believe that he was not there. He was underneath! Is there any way we can decide? Why don't we consult his memories? Oh? His memories? Yeah, don't be sad. Things like that don't make no sense. <laughs> I don't even prove I wasn't in the data hall. What? Oh, 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 you again. Yes, me again. <laughs> Whether or not Terry Terry was in a dining hall during the blackout, in order to know for sure, I just need to throw that question at him. Huh. Let's see. His his account. Maybe? His account? No, oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. Never mind, never mind. Never mind. Okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We haven't used this. So maybe? Prove it with okay, this. so now her busting it open is the clue. Okay. You were in the dining hall when the power came back. You mm -hmm. should know how Mikan was positioned at the time, right? Woo! <laughs> no! Don't make me remember! It's so embarrassing! I know it is. No, this is a very important question. 
Right. If you were really in the dining hall at that time, you should know the answer to that. Oh, do you? Uh -huh. Um. Oh, what? What was it? As pervy as you are, you would know. Way of tripping. There's no way you'd forget about it so easily. Oh. It's okay. How about it? You can't answer, Tara Taru? Right. Um, as pervy as you are, you would know. Uh, huh? it's, it's oh. My mind. Oh, it There's did it. No way it would right. Your mind. Your mind. Not a pervert like you. Uh, um, even so. Oh. Nagito, say something. Oh, so you both in on it? Is that your partner? I guess you might have to give up now. Huh. Give up. You mean give up? We found you. We got you. I'm disappointed too, you know. He wanted us all to die. Lonely watching someone I admire reach the limits of their hope. Mm. It kind of feels like a broken dream. Wow. What are you doing? Why are you messing with the killer like that? I don't know. Hold on a sec. Don't go moving this along on yeah. your own like I really am the killer. You are. But it's already decided, right? No use. I can't understand him anymore. Right. What is he saying? The murder weapon hasn't been cleared up yet. It's the skewers. But it's such a sad defense. This is too cruel. It's the it's the skewers. What? Manumi, enough with the whimpering and translate. Um. He said, if you're calling me the killer, then where's the weapon? You really need subtitles for him. Yeah, it's not the knife, right? No. From Ducky's wings, it was a thin edged tool that stuck me five millimeters in diameter. Also, and that had to be from under the food the food thing. Need to be at least 50 centimeters in root. After all this, who cares about the weapon? We do, because we care about our lives. <laughs> Not good enough. I understood Not that. Good enough at all. I understood that mm, one. I got it. Let's try thinking about what the weapon was. Mm. <laughs> he said, try to do it. He said, um. <laughs> what confusing accent. I know. Anyway, we need to focus and think about this. A thin edge tool with a diameter of 50 millimeters and at least 50, mil 50 centimeters in length. The weapon that meets the requirements might have been used at the crime scene. What's that? Oh Lord, do I have to spell it? Oh Lord, I don't know how to spell this thing. Is it thin? Is it thin? Okay, wait. It's not, I don't think it's in. I don't think it's in, so let's get that gone, right? Maybe? Huh. What would it be? Huh. I'm trying to figure out what the word is with the letters that's coming on the screen. Is it, is it this? Nope, that's not it. Okay, it does not start with a R. Um. What the hell? What the hell would it be? Oh wait, iron, iron. Okay, so I need an R, I need an R. So let's get that R. Let's get that R, oh Jesus. It's, it's, it's getting faster now. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, let's get that gone. Let's get that gone. I need an R, okay, there we go. R, and then the R, bam. Okay, let's get this, gone. I need an O. Okay, there we go, bam. Iron. Let's get that going. Ooh, there we go. Okay, let's get an N. We need an N. We need an N. Okay. Okay, we need an N. We need an N. There we go. Let's get that. Iron. We need an S. There we go. Bam. Don't need that, but we need that K. There we go. Okay, not that. So I need an E. Let's get that gone. Bam, bam. Let's get those gone. I need that W. Give me that W. I need another E. Let's get that gone too. Let me get that. Bam. 
and then I need an R. So let's get that gone. Bam, bam, gone. Bam, bam, gone. And okay, we can get the K's gone. We can get the K's gone. Get rid of the O's. Okay, I need an R. I need an R. There we go. There goes the R's. Thank you. Finally. Finally, we got it. Sheesh. God. All right. <laughs> okay. I was looking for thin. I was looking for thin skewer. Not, not, I, I don't know why, but okay. The iron skewer? Before the party, as Biagio was confiscating all the dangerous items, he spoke to Terror Terror. Yep. So that missing iron skewer is the weapon? It might be, yep. Uh-huh. Where'd you hide the iron skewer? Up. Up. Amber Levine. What? Right. Did he really just say that? Amber Levine? Oh, no. You probably dumped it somewhere on the island, didn't you? Huh. has a no littering rule. Oh, he would have been. Okay. The island sirens would be ringing nonstop. Is it still underneath? Just for littering? Huh. I was on guard duty. And I never once saw Terry Terry leave the old building. Is it still underneath the floorboards? He obviously put it somewhere in the old building. Hmm. Probably the kitchen again, right? Terry no. Terry, just man up and be straight with us. Oh. 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 <laughs> Finally, we are nearing the end. A cornered opponent will be surrounded by soul shields and simply will not listen to what you have to say. It will probably pain you to condemn your classmate, but this is a class trial after all. You must argue against your opponent and destroy their soul shields. A high-speed dispute battle where you beat down a panic opponent's excuses and nonsense. That's the bullet time, okay, panic talk action. What? PTA? Your PTA must destroy all of your opponent's soul shields so you can deliver your final strike. In order to do that, you must destroy your opponent's remarks while following the tempo. This, oh, okay, so it's like the other thing. Okay, got it. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. All right. All right. There we go. Temple up. Uh huh. The final blow. Okay. Cool. All righty. Got it. Understand. Okay. What? Even saying stupid country Uh huh. No choice but to somehow find out for ourselves. Yes, let's do it. If the iron skewer is a weapon, then hiding it in the kitchen will be the easiest way to slip it by. But Biaki and I checked the kitchen pretty thoroughly before the party started, which means the weapon was already hidden somewhere we couldn't find it, which would be underneath the floorboards, right? Where would that be? Where did he hide a long weapon like an iron skewer? Still underneath there. Think carefully. Okay. I'm not hiding anything. I'm hiding anything. <laughs> I must have built to Terra Terra the conclusive evidence that proves he's the killer. So he must have kept it underneath there, right? He could have just kept it underneath there if we didn't know. There we go. Ah, 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 ah. Got it. Got it. Bam, bam, bam. Uh huh. Getting them shields gone. Getting them gone. Whoa. Whoa. Got it. Hey, 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 gonna get you, gonna break it down, uh, get it, uh, 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 get it, oh, oh, hey, get it, uh, uh, get it, stop, gotta break it down, now, come on, come on, come on, there we go, now we got it, uh, what? On? The meat bone? Oh! On the meat bone! Right? On the meat, what? Huh? On the, on the, on the bone meat? On the bone meat? Or meat on the bone? Meat on the bone? This is the end. Okay, there we go. Okay, I didn't know how to put it together like that. Okay, got it. Understood. Could the iron skewer have been hidden inside the piece of meat on the bone? Hmm. <laughs> I said it all wrong. I said on the bone meat. <laughs> There's 
know where I'd hide in a day. In a place like that? Ah. Oh. It's clearly impossible. I mean, that's inside the food. Impossible. Ah. Oh. That's what Bianca and I thought. That's why we overlooked. Right. But in fact, the only place you could hide mm -hmm. a weapon was inside the food that couldn't be inspected. Right. Out of all the dishes you prepared, the only one that could hide a weapon as long as an iron skewer is the meat. Uh huh. The uh huh. What now? I'm mm -hmm. losing my right to remain silent. Oh, that's so gonna be your death. This here. Right. We need to confirm this now. So if we eat that tasty looking piece of meat mm. and find the iron skewer inside, bullseye. Uh huh. Monokuma or Monami, one of you hurry and bring over. And bring it over. Bring it over. Give me one minute. Oh, I know you will. I know you will. They gonna get it too. She's tied up. Oh, he's gone. Right <laughs> here. He went to go get it. Oh my god. I'm already eating it. Wow. A bear that eats meat. Now that I think about it. Yeah, normal. they do. Oh, now. Oh, what is this? So yummy! Damn, mm. that's my meat. I've never eaten anything like it in my entire life. Mm. The taste brings me back to my days in the wild. As a, so are you an actual? Ba I don't know what this thing is. This, this is bad. Seriously, this is really bad. Oh yeah, bad for you. There's something inside the meat. Oh, there out. it is. Isn't that, is that mm -hmm. an iron skewer? Yep. Wow. The handle looks like it's made of bone. Mm-hmm. The soul uh -huh. destruction encased in bone and sheathed in meat. It brought catastrophe unto Byakuya. <laughs> As expected of Teru Teru. Such a fantastic weapon from the ultimate chef. Mm-hmm. You're wrong. I'm not the killer. Yes, you I'm are. Not the kind of person who would kill someone. Yes, you I, are. You all set me up. You guys set me up so you could blame this on me. Oh, really? Jeez, what a disappointment. Why would we do that? Such an unseemly defense for an ultimate like you. Can you really call that hope? Hmm. I'm sorry, but can you just keep quiet? Thank you. I love this girl. I love her. What? Nothing but a bunch of poor loud now fast food eating hits. Oh wow. You don't need Call it names. Somehow I can tell what he's <laughs> After a while. <laughs> Let's just deal with Nagato later. More importantly, we should first. To settle this. Once and for all. Right. To do that, we need to go over the entire incident oh. from beginning to end. And okay, so this is clear. This is the comic book part. Go over the entire incident, and then I can prove Terra Tales crime. That's right. If we don't do that, we can't end this no matter how much time passes. So we need to do it. All right. All right. Closing argument. Begin. Let's go. Okay. Stock one. So let's see. I always start from a very random point so that I could understand it. Okay. And do process of elimination. Let's put this here. There we go. I think I'm I think I'm good. Oh, oh wait, oh wait, nope. I have a little bit more. I have a little bit more to do. I have a little bit more to do. Okay, so let's put it says who to Biakia see. Um Nagato trying to duck under the table. There we go. And then at the storage room before the blackout these turned on right and then everyone at the party huh chiaki okay there we go there we go we got it we got it now we got it we got it let's try going over the whole okay they did this one differently than the other one it was like if i guess stuff wrong my time mo well, not my time but my Hearts went down, my life went down, and then if I guess the right, I got more time. So okay. Yakia had us gather in the dining hall of the old building near the hotel. Yes. He was extra cautious about a murder occurring that night. Uh huh. Threatening letter he received. Therefore, so he was trying to get everybody patted so down. 
<laughs> Though one person didn't come, mm -hmm. the rest of us assembled at the dining hall, and the party was underway. Right. At that time, the trap set by a certain someone was already in motion. Uh huh. They plugged that was the there. The outlets in the storage room. Yep. Additionally, they prepared something else that would activate at 11.30 p.m. Mm-hmm. The air conditioner. The air conditioner's in the office and dining hall. Mm-hmm. They had already set the timers for this. Thanks to the irons maxing out the power mm -hmm. user, the breaker was tripped when the air conditioners kicked on. Okay. We're getting it together. I kind of like how they did this one, at least giving me hints, like, of what went where. where. The blackout plunged the dining hall into total darkness. Correct. But when that happened, he took out his took case. Out a specific item that he brought in his case. Right. That put it on. <laughs> was the night vision goggles. Yakuya was so concerned about a murder occurring that he brought a oh. variety of security equipment with him. Lord, paranoid ass. Goggles. But he was right. Yakuya witnessed a certain someone making a suspicious move. Mm-hmm. He saw Nagito guiding himself with the desk lamp's power cord so he could get under the table. That's right. right. Everything up to that point was all part of Nagito's plan. The mm. murder warning to Byakuya, the source of the blackout, it was all Nagito. Hmm. While the blackout was happening, someone else, the real, the real killer, wanted to their move in the kitchen. do something as well. The killer probably already knew about Nagito's plan, mm -hmm. so they knew a blackout was coming. That's why but I want to know how he knew. Like, were they friends? Their crime in the dark beforehand. Huh. They needed a light source, mm -hmm. which was provided by the portable stove in the kitchen. Correct. They needed a weapon, too. This had also been hidden in the kitchen beforehand. Mm-hmm. The long iron mm. skewer used in the churrasco dish. The killer hid that inside that meat with the bone in it. Correct. With the weapon and portable stove in hand, uh -huh. the killer stepped out into the hallway. First, they closed the fire door in the hallway. So that she so wouldn't see the light. The toward the dining room. Hmm. Then, guided by the light, the killer headed toward the storage room and grabbed a specific item. So that they would get covered in blood. To block the blood spread. Mm-hmm. Looking like Moon Knight. This, <laughs> the killer finished their preparations and snuck under the floorboards through the secret passage. They probably turned off the portable cooking stove at that point, or left it near the entrance of the door. The floor mm -hmm. in the dining hall is full of gas. So there's no way they could have safely held a light source. Hmm. But they see that paint. But thanks to the glowing mark they painted earlier, mm -hmm. the killer was able to get beneath the table. Ah! Uh, imagine! Yakia found the knife that had been hidden there. Hmm. If only he had retreated, he probably wouldn't have gotten killed. But. He had to retrieve that knife. And at that moment, mm -hmm. that's when he got shink, shink, shink. The killer lurking beneath the floor steps straight up with the iron skewer. Mm. The killer had been waiting in the dark for the moment when the glowing paint began to move. Mm. And then that's when After she heard it. Yaku, the killer purposefully shouted from beneath the floorboards to make it seem like they were still in the dining hall. After mm. they came out from underneath the floorboards and, and rushed, rushed to the kitchen. And then put that then back in the meat. Disgusting. In the kitchen, they rejoined the group as if nothing had happened. Nasty. There's Nasty. Only one person who would have been able to commit this crime. Terror, terror. If that person is someone who think of an unexpected way to hide a weapon inside. Food. Terror, terror's ass. Yes, we got you. We got you. Isn't that right, Terror, terror Hanamura? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. We got you. We got you. That's what happened. Uh-huh. Did I get anything wrong? No, I didn't. This is a mistake. Oh? A mistake, I tell you. I mm. would never, I would never kill anyone. Oh, yes, you would. <laughs> oh, now he won't cry. Now he want to cry. Okay. You've been found. You're going to die now. It's okay. Get punished. Oh, I got a B. Oh, I feel like I did terrible. Like, I knew what I was talking about, but all, the, all these new things that they, they implemented messed me up a little bit.
It looks like your argument has come to a close. I lost control of my wild side for a second. Is that a side effect of the meat I just ate? Maybe. Putting that aside, let's move along to the nerve-wracking voting time. Great. Please pull the lever in front of you and cast your vote. Ooh, Tara, you about to get it. Triple sure you vote for someone. Oh. Don't vote. I'm gonna eat you up just like that meat from earlier. Oh, so he's making sure that everyone does vote. Why did this happen? And why are you still hanging? Chosen as the blackened. Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? Well, we got the right one. Heart-pounding excitement. All right, Teru Teru, your pervy ways are done. Your pervy ways are finished, okay? We don't have to worry about you trying to look up people's skirts or nothing like that, okay? You're guilty. Sheesh. All right. There we go. That's right. This time, the black and responsible for killing Byaki and Tsugami is Teru Teru Hanamura. Oh, yeah. It's your time, boy. Are you serious? Out of all these people, are you saying a pot like him is the one who killed Byakia? Why? Why did you kill him? It was a mistake. I'm telling you, it was just a mistake. I was only trying to save you guys. I was only trying to stop Nagato from murdering one of you. Huh? Try to stop? What do you mean? Oh? I spent all morning in the old building preparing the dishes for the party, and then I heard a weird laughter near the dining hall, and when I peeked over there, I saw him. I saw Nagato in the middle of cleaning duty, putting the knife under the table. Oh! So I had a bad feeling about it, so I continued to watch what he was doing, and I saw him place the irons he brought in the storage room and mess with the air conditioner timers. Plus, he was grinning, just grinning by himself the whole time, so I questioned him. When that happened, he... Oh? You caught me? Oh, I've been caught? What? Been caught? What are you doing? What are you scheming? <laughs> I'm planning to kill someone, of course. Huh? huh? <laughs> Taro Taro, just to let you know, it's pointless of you to stop me. If you stop me now, it doesn't matter. I would never give up. Whether it's tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, or the days beyond that, I'll definitely start the killing. Impossible. What? No matter how much you want to leave this island, that's just... Wow, I see. So that's what you think. Well, but that's not it at all. This isn't about my survival. I just want the killing to start. What, what are you saying? <laughs> I love everyone here. That's why I want to be of good use to them. I love all of the Ultimates, and I admire them for being symbols of hope. Amazing. That's right. In the name of hope, I love everyone's talent from the bottom of my heart. That's why. <laughs> I don't want them to lose against something like killing. I want them to prove to me that hope will never lose, no matter how daunting the despair they face may seem. I want everyone to prove to me that hope will never lose to despair. No, 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 what are you no, saying? No. I don't understand at all. See? See? Is it See, isn't it typical that if you face a strong enemy, you will become even stronger yourself? Which means the stronger the despair you face, the stronger everyone's hope will become, right? I want to see that brightness. And in order to see it, I'm going to become everybody's stepping stone. I want to make your hope shine. And it's as simple as that. That's right. I yearn for a powerful hope that can overcome any kind of despair. Are you kidding? Don't tell me. You're actually serious. So you don't understand. That's fine. I really don't mind. I'm just an obsessed fanboy. So it's all right that this love of mine is unrequi unrequited. I suppose I can be called the ultimate, ultimate fanatic. You, there's something wrong with you. Really? Do you really think so? Do you really think there's something wrong with me? But isn't that what love is? So he was trying to save everybody. He was trying to save everybody from Nagato and ended up killing Byakuya. I mean, if it wasn't Byakuya, this wouldn't be funnier, but because it's Byakuya, it is for me. I'm sorry. Explain it to me. I don't understand anything about the story at all. You see, if you have a favorite boxer, don't you want him to fight against a strong opponent and win? You better not compare us to that. What? Am I wrong? It's like given that trials are necessary to become strong, and the harsher the trial, the stronger you become. No. For mere humans, killings are simply a tragedy, but for worthy humans, a trial such as this can elevate their status to an even higher level. Amazing. It's amazing to me that someone as untalented as myself can become that trial. There's no point in someone like me surviving. It's more, far more significant for me to die as everyone's trial. Right. There's no greater honor than becoming the foundation so that your values may ascend to brave new heights. What's going on? Stop it. You're seriously starting to piss me off. I don't understand at all. Are you saying you basically want to commit murder for fun? It's not the same as someone killing for fun, but I guess it, it looked the same in your eyes. I have no intention of surviving and leaving you all to die. Is that why you didn't mind when Terra Terra discovered your plan? That's wrong. Or perhaps that was intentional too, huh? So 
Nagisa wanted to involve us in the killing. Plus, it'd be better for him if the mystery was more complex. Is that why you blatantly revealed your plan to Teratero? You expect us to pique Teratero's curiosity, and you look forward to the mystery becoming more complex. Well, you're basically right. Shrub's looking forward to that. That's why I took the time to tell him about the secret passage I found while I was cleaning. What? That's what you're doing. That's what you're doing as well. I just casually mentioned it. Oh, it's dangerous if you fall, so don't get close to it. <laughs> oh my God, this dude—he's seriously batshit crazy. He's insane. That's right. That's why I tried to stop him. You know. But why? Why did you kill Bianca instead? I don't know because Nagisa was the one who was supposed to take that knife. That's why I aimed and thrusted the iron skewer there. But why is Byakuya the one who died? It's supposed to be Nagato, not him. Byakuya probably tried to stop Nagato from grabbing the knife. And then in place of Nagato... No, I don't think that's it. Huh? Byakuya was probably trying to protect Nagato. What? What did you say? Because Byakuya said so, didn't he? Could it be in order to keep that promise? As long as he was wearing the night vision goggles, I'm sure he saw someone moving under the floorboards and that someone was aiming for Nagato. Oh. So Byakuya gave his life to protect Nagato, even though he was trying to take the knife? <laughs> I see, Byakuya is amazing. To keep his promise to protect everyone, he actually threw his own life away. And yes, I never expected an ending like this, such despair. <laughs> but we shouldn't let him die in vain. I'm sure everyone will become even stronger by overcoming this despair. Could it be you knew Byakuya would protect you, so you set him up to fail? Of course not, I'm not that good at calculating. I just took some precautionary measures. The results of that were going to be my fun for later. Just kidding. I but I never expected it would turn out like this. I never thought it'd be I'd be the one to survive. But since it was my life that had been saved, I didn't want to just waste it. So that's why I decided to help Terra Terra. Why? <laughs> well, because Terra Terra decided to commit his crime because he also had strong hope, right? Which means the actions were motivated by hope. If he was willing to go that far, I thought he might truly be the person whose existence I was waiting for. I thought he might be the hope that could defeat any type of despair. In order for me to confirm it, I decided to help Terry Terry. What do you mean confirm? Just stop it already. Plus, I couldn't really help myself when I also empathized with Terry Terry. After all, he wanted to kill me, but he ended up killing Byakuya instead, you know? If I left him in that confused state, this trial might have been ruined, right? But in order for our hope to grow, this trial was absolutely necessary. That's why I decided to help him. I told him, I don't care if I die, so you should just focus on escaping this island. Right. Those were my exact words to him before the investigation. Isn't that right, Terry Terry? Yeah. Oh, it was. Man. In the end, my help just wasn't enough, and this turned out to be a bad ending for Terra Terra. <laughs> but you should be proud of yourself. You will not die in vain. You will become a splendid sacrifice for everyone else so their hopes can grow even more powerful. Impossible. Sacrifice? Shut up. Shut up. Seriously, stop it already. I'm gonna go crazy just listening to hey, you. Hey. hey, is it really okay for us to just leave this crazy bastard alone like this? Isn't it better if we just fucking kill them all? You know what? I agree. We should, so that there should be no more chaos, but... Who will be the black? Well, I mean, the black and would have to die, right? I mean, I don't know. Yeah. Kill, he said. High school students are so violent these days. But the person who's gonna get killed now isn't Nagato. It's Terra Terra. Oh man, you didn't forget, right? So I already told you from the beginning, right? If the black and killer loses, a fun punishment awaits them. Wait. No. Oh man, no, no, no. that was how should I put it? An accident. Um, an act of self-defense, not intentional. Anyway, I feel it's, impo it's possible. It's not my fault. Hey. It doesn't matter if it's an accident, self-defense, or intentional, a murder is still a murder. If you kill someone, that's murder. But isn't there anything like sympathy judgments, extenuating circumstances, or maybe even probation? I don't accept any of those claims. That's not... Hey, save me, you guys. I was only trying to stop Nagato. Be honest, after learning about Nagato's plan, you saw an opportunity, right? You probably thought nobody would find out if you killed him after messing up his plan, right? That's what you thought, right? You're wrong. There's no way a person has no malice would we, we kill someone like that. In truth, you were just desperate to kill Nagato and willing to sacrifice everybody else to survive, right? Just be honest already, at least in the end. Huh? Oh yeah, that's that's the truth. If only you didn't try to kill Nagato, Byakuya would still be alive. Why did you try to commit murder? Answer me, Teru Teru. I just wanted to go home. I needed to go back home no matter what. Because she's waiting for me. Mama is waiting for me at home. She's waiting all by herself for the day I graduate Hope Speak Academy and come home. Oh, oh, look at okay. his mom. I'm going now. Aww. When I come back, I think we should talk again about opening an Aoyama and Azabu location. Aww. Oh my, you're still talking about that. Oh, I'm <laughs> serious. 
the academy guarantees success for its graduates, right? So, mm -hmm. I know it's going to be difficult by yourself, but Aww. wait for me until then, okay? Oh, yes, Taru right. Taru. Then I'll just have to do my best to keep the Hanamura Diner from going out of business until then. Mm. You don't have to work so hard. Oh, if you collapse again while I'm gone, I'll be fine. Moms are strong. Oh, the things I you do for your mom. Illness. Oh, <laughs> I know that already. Hmm. I know that already. Oh. Oh, I kind of feel bad now. I kind of feel bad that Taro Taro is is the one that got to die now. Not Nagato should die. Not Nagato should die. I promised. I promised her I'd become a full fledged cook and save the Hanumaru di Diner. Mama is waiting for me to keep that promise, even though she's sick and alone. She's still waiting for me. That's why I need, That's to, why go I need to go home. Oh, Taro Taro. But if we were told our memories were stolen and that several years have passed since our first day, then what happened to the Hanamura Diner? What happened to my mom who's still waiting for me? So you did believe what Monokuma said. You were saying all along, it's okay, I'll never believe something like this. So why? I still don't believe it. There's no way I could believe it. It has to be a lie. That's why I want to go home. Oh, I want to go home and confirm it. Want to make sure it was all just a lie. I wanted to make sure that I still have a place to call home. Taro Taro. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Oh, I feel bad. It's not that Taro Taro didn't believe it. He believed it more than anybody else here. That's why he kept denying it because he believed it. He needed to deny it. If only I knew how he felt, something like this would have happened. Would have never happened. I wanted to confirm by any means necessary I had to do something. That's when I heard Nagato's plan. I found out he was going to kill someone if I left him alone. That's why... So you wanted to kill first. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you guys. It doesn't mean I wanted to sacrifice any of you, but it was the only thing I could do. And I ended up killing Byakuya instead of Nagato. I, I see. I'm the one who went crazy. Oh, Taro Taro. <laughs> I see, I see. Interesting, but as far as motives to kill are concerned, wanting to see your mom is boring. What? <laughs> it seems there's no point in basking in the afterglow, so let's hurry up and begin the punishment. Oh. And he's punching her again. Look. Now, that annoying little sister has been dealt with. Let's get back to business. Hold on a sec. I'm not asking for forgiveness anymore, but at least I prepared a special punishment for Taro Taro. Oh, Lord. Call me Chef. No, wait. That's not what I... Please. Please tell me at least what happened to the Hanamaru Diner to Mama. Let's give... Oh, he's ignoring it. He's ignoring it. Oh, my God. I won't believe this. Ah, uh, I won't believe it. Oh. Oh man. Oh, I feel so bad. Oh Jesus. Oh God. Okay. He's been found guilty. Time for the punishment. Oh, I wonder if you can see it. <laughs> what is this? Oh my goodness. Oh, they're dragging him away. They did this to Leon. They dragged Leon away in the other game. Wow, deep fried Teru Teru. Oh no. They're gonna fry him up. What? So they're gonna, oh, they're gonna explode him. Oh wow. Oh, oh, no, they exploded him with butter or oil? And now they're gonna fry him up with this explosion. Wow. Oh, no, no, that was the breading. That was the breading. That's it. That was, that was the, the breading that they're doing. They just saucing him up to go into a damn volcano. Oh my God. Oh! Oh wow. Oh, they done made. Oh my God. Jeez. And everybody had to watch them make Teru Teru on a stick. Teru Teru on a stick. Oh my God. The adrenaline is rushing through me. Oh, are you fucking serious? Oh my God, why did you do something so cruel? 
Didn't you learn when you were in elementary school? If you badmouth someone, the teacher writes it in a note and makes whoever you badmouth read it to you in front of the class. Aww. When that happens, only then do you think about how it feels to be badmouth. The same applies to murder. You You're the one who drove him to do it. So cruel, it's just too nice. cruel. Well, it can't be helped. Rules are rules, and this is the killing rule after all. What rule? You're the one who's breaking the rules. Mm -hmm. Huh? I can't just let that slide. What do you mean? When you mentioned the motive, didn't you also promise something? Why? Why didn't you tell Tara Tara about his mom or his diner? He had a right to know. Yeah, us too. We all have a right to know. Hey, hurry up and tell us. What did you mean earlier when you mentioned our school memories? Oh yeah, I did promise to return memories after the killing began. Huh, you're gonna do it? But telling them is kind of... But I never told you guys that I'd tell you right away. What? So now we got loopholes in the... Okay, okay. Of course I'll keep my promise to return memories someday. But it's still not clear when that someday will actually be. Great, great. I must excuse myself as well. There's something that I need to do. Huh? What the heck? That's not fair. They both ran away. Monokuma had us wrapped around his finger after all. Tara Tara, you stupid. An ending like this is just full of despair. A seriously tragic despair. But still, at times like this, as the symbols of hope, you guys need to keep doing your best. You, why are you smiling? How can you smile in a situation like this, you creep? Nope. Hold on, I'm sad too, you know. Then I tell you, from the bottom of my heart, I truly love you all. You ultimates who inspire hope, you and your splendid talents. There's no way I can be happy when we've lost such a talented individual. Don't go saying creepy shit, I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> Please, kill me at any time. If you hate me, I don't mind you killing me. I've already prepared myself to become your stepping stone. If absolute hope can be born from that, then my life is nothing special. You, how messed up are you? However, if you're going to kill me, make sure you discuss it with me beforehand, okay? You see, if you do that, then I can cooperate with the killer. Are you seriously intending to help the killer? It's not, it's really not that big of a deal. If you're students of Hosting Academy, if you're the symbols of hope who possess the chosen talents, then it shouldn't matter to you guys at all if I cooperate with the killer, right? Declaring so confidently that you'll side with the killer. Maybe this was his plan all along. Since he's willing to work with the killer, he wants us to think it's better for us not to kill him. Well, I don't mind what you think of me. In actuality, thanks to Byakuya, I'm starting to feel a small desire to live. Mostly, I just want to watch everyone destroy all the despair that comes for you, one after the other. <laughs> just kidding. Hey, can I punch you? It won't be satisfied till I punch you. <laughs> Fine, let's stop this already. It's just going to be a waste of time if we keep dealing with him. Even Hajime hates me now? That stings. I felt you and I were quite similar. You hold a special feeling toward Hope Speak Academy, just like me. Don't put me in the same category as you. But how can you say you're not? Monokuma said himself, we don't know anything about each other's true nature. No, if it's true that our school memories are stolen, it's the same as not knowing our true selves too. Especially for you, right? Someone who can't even remember what his talent is. Akane, please feel free to punch him. Will do. Please. Hold on. Please, stop this at once. Nothing will come from fighting like this. There is something else that we must do. Something else? We must not argue with each other in a place like this. There is something more important we must do. Which is... Do our best. Okay? We must first leave here and get some rest. And then we shall all work together to do our best. Do our best so we never have to come back here again. That is what I believe we must do right I'm now. Sorry. I'm sorry if I was a better motivational speaker. No, that really touched my heart. You, you sim. <laughs> no, you're totally right. What we need to do right now is do our best. If we do our best, it's definitely going to pay off, yes. right? Yes, that is right. right. But what do we have to work hard at? <laughs> I don't not. I do not know. But we must do our best. Jeez, I don't get you at all. Are you some kind of moron? Well, it's fine if you don't know. What matters is that you hold on to the feeling that you have to do your best. Right? So let's do our best. Oh my God, yes, I get it. We gonna do our best. We got it. It's scary, but doing our best is our only option. There's no way I'm doing what Nagato said. All right, I'm gonna do what you're talking about. Let's do our best. Bye. Very well, yes, do our best. Okay, let's do our best. Yes, I got it, got it. Let's definitely work together and leave this island. Do our best. We kept using that phrase over and over again. Even though we knew they were just cheap, meaningless, empty words. Regardless, we still said it. And we continued to say it over and over again without stopping. Thus, the curtain had fallen upon the class trial where Byakuya and Terry Terry were sacrificed. Afterwards, we left the trial grounds and returned to the mainland of Jabberwock Island. For the time being, we decided to go back to our cottages. 
After experiencing something like that, there's no way I could fall asleep. I gave up, got out of bed, and began walking around the hotel grounds for no real reason. After not doing much of anything, I dully looked up at the sky. And there, just like before, there it was, the night sky brimming with stars. Stars that looked like they were about to fall into my hands like fluttering snow. As I looked up at such a beautiful sky, I can go anywhere. That thought crossed my mind for some reason. The sky is connected to anywhere, even to my daily life. That's why I might be able to go home. That's right, I'm definitely going home. That's when it happened. As I stared up at the night sky, I felt a strange convergence of sensation. And then, while I continued to stare at the night sky, I felt my entire body stiffen with that sensation. Isn't this... Is someone watching me? Oh? Oh? Someone's watching him? Are we on TV again? Is that... Oh! Oh! Uh oh Oh, no. 19 days left. What is happening? 19 days left until what? We all die? Chapter 1. Done. That rhymed, y'all. <laughs> now, there's 14 students left. Mm. Alright, y'all. So, that is it for Chapter 1 of Danganronpa 2, Goodbye Despair. So... It was like I was half right on everything. It seemed like I was I was right to be suspicious of Nagato because he was the one that put that knife there. But then I was wrong that he was the killer. But I was right that the next killer in question would be Taro Taro because he was the cook. So he would use the spe the the iron skewers to get him. I just didn't know why. And now that we know the why he did it. I feel bad because he wasn't trying to kill Byakuya. He was actually trying to kill Nagato so that he could see his mom because she was sick and he wanted to see if she was okay. So I kind of feel bad. But then again, I don't because he was a little pervy. So I, it was, I don't, I, I, it's like I'm torn a little bit on the end on this one, but my skills of guessing are on it, I think. I hope you guys like this video. If you did, leave a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll be back for another episode of Danganronpa, and I may do another game, but I'm not sure yet. So I'll see you guys next time, and this